I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 with my father and brother and I. We're at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Today is January 8th, 2018. It is currently, we are opening the meeting at 6.31 p.m. All members are present. Um, where's my... This is kind of like the work. Sheila, where's this the is, this is purple folder for the chairman's and statement? And they got two years from that date before the state takes them over. If I could please have that. This is from you? No, this is in the jacket. Um, we pulled the file. And we had to find out when they actually went into septic failure. So from this date, 2017, in June of 2018, Thank will be you. two years. And that's when the state comes in. Please note that this meeting they, they is being made us. available to the public through an audio recording, which will be used to ensure an accurate record proceedings produced in the minutes of the meeting. All comments made in open session will and are being recorded. Gail, are you recording tonight? No, I am not. Okay, great. Uh, while we're waiting for our first meeting or customer to, or client to come in at 645, I want to see if we can go through um, a couple of these. We do have the minutes of the meeting that mm -hmm. are dated December 11th, 2017 that everyone should have in their packet. Um, Gail, you are not here on this at this meeting. Um, so I missed the last meeting. No, I didn't miss the last meeting. December eleventh. Nope. You submitted paperwork from a package. Um. Yeah, no. Mr. Thorne was here. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no, you no. forgot me, Sheila. Let me just double check That's here. Okay. That's okay. Okay, if you could. Uh, <laughs> and she did make a motion to adjourn. Yep. So with that being said, we're going to have those corrected, and I'll sign the last sheet. Sheila, yeah. um, can I get a motion to accept those minutes? I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of December 11, 2017. Right here. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. The update on the field house, the Wolf Den. Um, we actually are having Mr. Poirier is coming in later on tonight. So I think at this point in time, um, we know that they have the eight portable toilets trailer. Um, has that arrived as of yet, Sheila? Yes, they, they, they did arrive. Um, the electrical inspector went out and checked it out to make sure that it was okay. Okay. Um, I believe the plumbing inspector went. I, I want to say they have a couple of urinals on the men's side and two toilets, and I think three toilets on the other. It's heated. The water's heated. Um, did you say two, two men's? Did half the trailer is for men oh. and half is for girls, and on the men's side there's a couple of urinals. A couple of stalls, like two stalls, and then on the ladies' side, I think they said three toilets on three stalls. There you go. Okay. So uh, the septic outbreak. I'm just looking for the. Anybody find the? Um, what do they have in their packet? The Board of Health, um, the health agents report. I don't it's not, it's not in there. We do not have. We do not have one. Okay. Yep. So we do not. Individual, um, I did get her to write some stuff up on the different. Um, 
I know she was very busy field this week. About. Yep, no, field house and the two really outbreaks. No there's no the change in the other two, the bakery the and the in the Pembroke Hospital. Hospital right. Okay. Um, there's been no. I mean, we've had a couple of house fires, but yeah, those are being handled by the building department. Right. Uh, I think trailers are being brought in for two of them anyway. There was one on Furnace Lane. Yep. And then one on um, five five six Washington Street. Okay. The long red house there. It's, a, it's an extra. Oh, okay. It's an extra. <laughs> okay. Um, that has to go for the Yep. But, I'm but Lisa was meeting. busy. Lisa was busy this past week with the um, and the, over the weekend in regards to power outages. Yeah, North she River was up Plaza at North River outage. Plaza. Yeah, that out. Okay. But that was fine. Everything was the right temperature. Perfect. Thankfully, it was freezing out, so nothing heated up. Yep. <laughs> um, she also had um, a couple of like calls on you know, problems with the water at Kill Commons. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was stuff that we, that they were working on. Just that sometimes people just call call us. Because right. And there were not a lot of power outages in Pembroke no, no. We very lucky. at all, which was wonderful. Really lucky for this storm because it was heavy. Yeah, and what, uh, just to let the rest of the board know, I was staying in contact via text message to Lisa on Thursday, Friday. I wanted to make sure that, you know, everything was all set if we had to open up the coalition. Um, the Council on right. Aging, yep. as well as Habermock, which is the station um, yep. the f um, shelter. Yep. So um, she was doing really good. Everybody was right on. You know, it's not their first rodeo, nope. so it was nice not to... Um, it was nice to know that everybody did well through the storm. Um, okay. Uh, done. We might as well hold the um, general discussion. Do you have a presentation package for us to have? No, I don't tonight. You do not? I okay. do not. So I would like to table that? Yes, please. Um... Why don't we have her present? Why don't we do a presentation? She can um, give out the paperwork to us on January 22nd, and then the meeting after that, we can have a discussion on it. Okay. So we can have the opportunity to review. I think that's going to be around 2 8. Okay. Probably, yep. Yeah. Um, the 22nd is our next meeting. Yes. And then the 8th would be. Um, okay, so I'll have the paperwork in by the next meeting, and then we'll discuss on on the following okay. the following two weeks um, on February eighth. So a week from today is um, Martin Luther King Day, so that's a, a, a long weekend. Mm -hmm. So Gail, if you could have them in on the around the seventeenth, eighteenth, that would be the Wednesday, Thursday before the next meeting. Okay. If possible. I can do that. Yeah, and then Sheila can scan it and send it all off to us, and then we can yeah. have an opportunity to read about it. Perfect. And I know daily things are changing in regards to the the federal government and the state governments mm -hmm. on that matter. So, um, how, do, how do we locate um, laws that the town has adapted? Do you know? Um, Laws would be in our bylaws. No, this would be like what kind uh, of laws? mass general laws. Mm -hmm. How do we access mass general laws that we've um, we've accepted? Like in the mass general laws, some of the laws read that it's up to the town to accept it. Other ones are just straight. You got to follow. You know who? Them. I don't know that answer, but you know who could answer that for Sabrina? you? Sabrina. Sabrina. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. talk to her. Yeah, because I know. Some of them have been adopted at town meeting. Well, they have to. They have to eventually have to, go right. through the town meeting. But I meeting. don't know if they've gone. So the town clerk would have that. Yeah, Mary Oh, the Ann. town clerk, Marianne, would have it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. great. One of those two. Okay. One of those two, I think. Yeah, because um, this goes back. I was looking and like there's some things from 1978, and I tried to find it on the bylaws, but it's not. You know, thinking more forward mm -hmm. when I when I gone through them. It would have been something that um, would have had to go through town meeting, but it's not listed. The, what we what we have adopted is not listed in our mm -hmm. bylaws. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I would I would actually probably start with Mary Ann. Okay, and thank you. Go through to Sabrina, but we've got about um, five minutes. Would 
Why don't I open the floor? Anybody have anything other than what's on our agenda they would like to share, discuss? I do not. You do not? I do not. Okay. Well, uh, so Sheila, we've got a few minutes here. Um, here. Waiting We're for waiting Rick for Grady, but we had the abutters notified, so right, we are going to have to wait for them. Yep. You want to take a quick look at um, if you know this gentleman is in the red jacket. Hey, Oh, that's one of the Grady boys. Yeah. But the abutters have been notified. Um, upcoming issues, we've already done that, Do you right? want to take a look at what? Upcoming issues. Um, yeah. Um, Sheila, well, would I it... If, if you wanted to take a look at Shane, one of Shane's... Um, Indian Trail? The variances. Yeah, no, he's usually pretty good about... Um, he's usually pretty he's got good a great at educating. Yes. Rick Grady, correct? Yes, correct. Hi, Rick. Welcome. Um, we have, the abutters were notified. Correct. So I do have to wait another four minutes. Not a problem. Okay. And then we get to see Kevin. Yep. He's coming. Did you drive together? We did not. <laughs> we're both running the kids around in different directions. Okay. Well, we can take the opportunity to read um, the notes on this. Just a coincidence that you share the same last name? Nope, brothers. We've actually got three brothers, yeah, and we're all partners in the engineering them. business, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's joking. Rick, Kevin, and Darren. Darren. Yeah. So. Bewitched. All engineers. Yeah. All went to Northeastern, all PEs. Great wow. school, Northeastern, yeah. co-op. Yeah. Dad an engineer? No, he worked at the shipyard. Yeah, and made, he cracked the whip and made sure we all went to college. Good. <laughs> he did good. My brother graduated from Northeastern oh, okay. as an engineer. He's, he works for the country club in Brookline now. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's good. It was a great school. Yeah. And it was actually, I have to laugh because my freshman year was $6,000. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm yeah. not laughing because yeah. I just put kids through college. Uh -huh. I did, I, I did um, the business. I did, I got a business degree from Northeastern. Mm -hmm. My sister graduated from their nursing school. It's a very different school mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Yes, it is. 60000 instead of 6000 Six. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I know. Your daughter told you she met me? The husband just retired. We just oh, finished paying that all off. Yeah. So I'm hoping. I didn't my, ask my her, but she said, I, so I, act, I specifically yeah, asked oh, her. Tough. I, it I, really I, is tough. And she you said laugh. to me, no, no, I didn't. I'm not laughing at that. I have to show but, her the numbers she went know, for UMass Amherst. There's a, a <laughs> protocol she has to follow. And I said, so I, I got to text in their 30s now, so I'm just kind of grateful. Wait, did I We were a little low, but. Oh, I didn't remember. Yes, you texted me and said, I just met your daughter, Tracy. And I said, well, then you are in good hands, Mr. Fine. But she didn't end up being your nurse. That's correct. But That's correct. when I asked her, I said, you know, a friend of mine texted me. And she said, yep, someone that you know well. And I said, okay. She didn't say a word. Really? Yeah. It was a wonderful facility. Yeah. Everyone was awesome. Yeah. Where'd you go? I had a colonoscopy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Brain tree? No, in Weymouth. In Weymouth. Oh, in Weymouth. Um, yeah. Oh, I know where you Atrius. are. Everyone yeah. was Atrius. great there. Yeah, great. They, great staff. I wrote them a letter. You did? You did? I, did. I wrote them a thank you note. Everyone was awesome. Good for you. Yeah. Wow. I, I, it was great. Awesome. So, That's a nice thing to hear yeah. that you wrote a letter yeah. because yeah. those, My those daughter facilities works there, are really so. good. They yeah. work? Yeah. 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 You know? And um, her, atrius her um, endoscopy and colonoscopy. I asked for her oh, okay. after yeah. we Where's were that? done with yeah. that right business, in, um, not Weymouth. before. Yeah. Okay. Where the, um, <laughs> oh, the gym. Um, the big gym, not Gold's gym. Planet Fitness. Planet yeah, Fitness. Yeah, it's right okay. there. Yeah. yeah, right down in there where all the medical is. So, yeah. all right. I'm just going to give it a couple more minutes to see if anyone is coming. And do you have the sign-in sheet, Sheila? I left it right there on the corner. Perfect. Perfect. You find you know these folks? I don't. Okay. 
I did just have one quick question. What is the tributary that is associated with this yeah, um, find you property? Pull up and it is actually the pond. The pond? Yeah. What pond? Okay. All them. All them. Yeah, come on Sorry. in. Yeah. yeah, you know. Gary, can you just pop, pop so your name plates board, down? So yeah, no, no, that's okay. We, we're very good at sharing. I'll take the quick just a second. I'll hang it up. Okay. Is this your file? This one's ours. Okay. I just want to make up. sure that we have the same plan. It's in the file. This one rolled. I don't know. Uh, you can use that one. The application of that as a tributary to a surface water supply has been a little inconsistent. I know we've done others over that way where we did not consider the tributary water supply. Okay, this is a plan dated um, December 19th. It changed. Uh, December 15th? Okay. Yep, 15th. It was stamped in our office as of the 19th. Okay, and the abutter list is in here. Okay. Hi, welcome. Hi, you Hello. Can you just state your name for the record? We are sure. being recorded. Uh, Mario D'Ambrosio. Carol D'Ambrosio. Carol D'Ambrosio. Okay. And your address? Uh, 223 Wampatuck. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, look at the history on this one. This actually came into our office a few months ago. I'm just ready to help you. Oh, you're yeah. Um, Tyler Nims had actually done a design on this property back in 2003, roughly, mm -hmm. and it was approved by both Board of Health and Conservation Commission. Um, he let everything expire. So, and since that time, uh, wetlands expired, so we had to get the botanist back out to redelineate. Uh, some of the Title V regulations changed since that point, so we had some revisions to update it to today's standards for Title V. Um, floodplains changed, so we had to change it to a different reference datum, so we're on the same basis as the floodplain. So basically a lot of things changed on a lot that really hasn't changed. The soils testing was still usable. That was good. That was post-1995. <coughs> so we somewhat had to start from scratch. We had our botanists redefinite. We updated the survey, um, and then we tried to basically take the same plan that was designed previously and update it for a little reconfiguration of where the house was proposed. The leaching area is actually proposed in the same place that was previously approved. Um, the reserve area is the same place as previously approved. Um, we did end up pulling the house for conservation purposes a little further away from the pond uh, to give it a little bit more of a backyard and reduce the impact uh, to wetlands in that area. What's the setback to the pond? The setback to the pond from the leaching system? Yep. Um, to the wetland, it's 71 feet. Okay. To the pond, uh, it's about twice that, about okay. 140 feet. So there's a bit, a little bit of a water hole yeah, in the back right. of the property there um, that I don't think was flooded with wetlands back in 2003, uh, but it is acting as a wetland today. Okay. So as a result, the wetland flags that they had previously were really kind of back where the pond was, um, and we ended up pulling that up quite a bit to roughly in here. They showed a little depression there at that elevation of 59. Mm -hmm. uh, the wetlands behind the, de behind the depression? In 2003, they were considered to be behind the depression. No, and where today, are they? they're considered to be upwind of the depression. Okay, so I have a question. Why are the wetlands not noted here on your plan as they would be noted here mm -hmm. previously? Sure, yeah. We've got a wetland upland line here and a dotted line here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're that using the the dotted line with the flag. Okay. Okay. And then the pond itself is back here. Mm -hmm. It's actually located both. Thank you for explaining that. No yeah. problem. A um, couple of other things. We located a couple of the abutting houses that one of them was on this plan on the side this here. This is you, 223. Two, <laughs> yeah. sure. Is that us? 223. Two, three. <laughs> uh, it is a jet treatment system. Uh, back in 2003, they required pressure dosing and a pump chamber for. Uh, treatment. Under today's regulations, they can do that one by gravity. 
So we're able to go to the jet treatment tank here mm -hmm. uh, and then flow by gravity to a distribution box and do a gravity leaching field instead of a pressure dosed leaching field. Okay. So the IA approvals have changed a little bit since 2003. Um, we are able to get 71.9 feet to the edge of wetlands. Mm -hmm. um, we are keeping things as tight to the front property line as possible at 10 feet there. So there's a few different local variants. There's one local variance request and a few Title V variance requests to mm -hmm. go along with this. And these are going to be very similar to what was approved previously. This first one is a little bit strange. Um, under the Pembroke Rules and Regs, we're supposed to design for a minimum of 450 gallons per day. Right. Three bedrooms at 150. And you're going with three. We're designing up at 300 gallons per day, and just for consistency, they had restricted this to a one-bedroom design in 2003. Okay. And since we were basically copying the previous approvals, we're, we're mimicking what they did before, and we're proposing a one-bedroom deed restriction. Okay. Okay, because if not, if you had not done that, then it at would 150 have... per gallon, at some point somebody could want a two-bedroom home and, and fight that so yep. you, you are deed restricting it to one yep that's okay. right yep and it's a um okay so that's our local variance right and the only reason i say it seemed a little bit like an odd one to me and i'm not quite sure what the history was on it it might have had something to do with the previous design flow for the property um is that our actual leaching system has a capacity of 315 gallons per day. Uh, so I'm, I'm not quite sure why they restricted it to one bedroom instead of two, where it does have the capacity for two, but we were just being consistent with the previous approval, mm -hmm. saying deep restricted to one again. Right. And the yes. homeowner is aware of that. Yes. He had actually hoped to kind of walk in with the same plan that they had done in 2003 and get a new approval based on this, but it was a little too outdated and needed yep. some changes. Uh, and then on the Title V side of things, uh, reduction in the setback to a wetland tributary to a surface water supply. Okay. And that would be this wetland yep. line here. Uh, from 200 feet to 183. Okay, and that's so the pond. Okay, hold on one second. 200 to 183. Okay, mm -hmm. so we're not talking about the Title V variance yet. Uh, I'm sorry, yes, that is item one under the Title V variance. Okay. Yep. Because what my sheet is reading Local is a Title V variance. No, nope. flip it over one dollar. Right, that's local upgrade request. Right. So you're on the setback of a... He's on the local upgrade request right now. Okay. He's on, on Title V variance. Okay, so we're skipping over the first one. Do you have a variance just so that we can go in order, Rick? Uh, which uh, one do you I'm want? showing 15.211, which is a contradiction because 15.211 is the same under local upgrade request as Title V. It says a reduction setback tributary to a surface water supply from 200 to 70 feet. That's what I'm showing on my first page of my scheduled action. Okay. Second page, we're referring to the same item with a reduction to setback and wetland tributary to a surface water supply from 200 to 183 feet. Leaching field. Then there's a jet tank. And then there's a water service supply from 100 to 72 and 100 to 64. So this 200 to 70 is so confusing to this, me. This one looks the same as the local upgrade? Correct. That's what's confusing yeah. me, Sheila. Yeah, I think it's yeah, ended yeah. under two different oh. sections there. Yeah. Um. So the plan that we have, is that the plan? Okay. There you go. Yeah, that was what I'm. I'm looking at that, and I'm saying, mm, "Where's that figure?" So uh, how, this is just a partial foundation at this point. Is that? I think it's really. I don't know if there's any remains there. Any or not remains anymore. there at all? Yeah, I think they pretty much removed empty? everything at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Empty. So there's no foundation. It's a okay. 
Yeah. Have their taxes been paid? Do we know? Uh, the note says parts of the foundation remain. Mm -hmm. that's true. I'm just curious if, if they're even have been paying taxes. Conservation checks that and... Have they, you gone to ConCon? We had a meeting with them at 7.15 actually. So that's something Rachel already checked and they were up to date okay. on taxes. Great. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen anything visible. Okay. How long have you guys lived here? 20 yeah. years. 20. Oh, no, no actually, 25, 27. A long time. A long time. Yeah. A long time. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do the same 89. thing. 89. You have 89 every morning. That's when I bought my home, 89. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, so 29 years. Oh, we met a couple. I met a couple when I was. Uh, but did um, request that the kayak town. Across the pond. And they got married the same day we did with their second, not second. Oh, no, no, no. And they got married the same day <laughs> and they bought the house the, first the first same day. week. Oh, yes, that's funny. Did. But they're using that as a summer. Yep. Summer. Uh, nice way to make friends. Yeah. Same day, Boston. Yeah. Everything. So that's another jet system? Yes. Yes. Yeah, because yeah. I think ours was the Changed first the one. Seven, like seven years of 183. Well, then you right. so laid some friends to clarify. Clarify. <laughs> <laughs> Rick is saying it's 183. Got about but I want I, I need to uh, clarify uh, on our uh, board uh, action, what this first one's coming from. And is that a Title V Is yeah. it a Title V variance, or is it a local? Yeah, it's, a, it's the same thing. All right. We ran the title five like variance, but it's approvable by the board. It does not have yeah. to go to DEP. And they never thought we'd right. be able to. I like it. It's a good one. So, it is. so yeah. Especially it's expensive, so but it's a good one. So I just want to confirm. Yeah, but if, if you're, you're going to enjoy the water, you got to, right. you know, uh, there's little concessions okay. that you have to make. Okay, so, the, okay, so, so here's what we have. This is where the confusion this is coming. Local out. variance. Oh, we're not at all. That is, Which yes, is what not at all. If you're going to flow into the air, it's going to be there. And the septic and system is going to be in, in front of their home. Variance. So oh. nothing is coming near you. It's not going to be set back where you're going to have to deal with it. Do you have well water? Okay. No. Because okay. that's another concern when we so do these things. Is if we're you ready. Have well water, but. Okay, so we're ready then just to show the board. We're going to correct our first sheet. Okay, we're going to title so five variance at 15 you're to 11. Out, you're going to delete that line. Yep. We have. Um, uh, Rick has presented to us the local regulation variance mm -hmm. of the one bedroom. Now, if you turn your sheet over, you'll see that it actually states local upgrade requests, Title V variance requests, which is in this situation one and the same. Title V has to, um, variances have to be approved by the state. Not anymore. Not anymore. Right. Okay. So yep. then these four reside in our. Mm -hmm. Jurisdiction. Okay, so if you could repeat number one again, that would be great. Okay, so I'm just going to go off the same. Yep, we got the here. same document. So, reduction in the. Okay, I'm sorry, you're saying go back to the gallons per day? 15. Yep. Nope, okay. nope, nope. So, um, we're all number first per day. one. Yep. So, we're moving yeah, on the first to one. Yep. reduction in okay. setbacks to a what? To a surface water supply from 200 to 183? No. Am I looking at we? List that we're using. It was back here. Okay. Right, the tributary to the surface water supply is here, and that is the. Yeah, where is that 183? Let's grab the scale here. I can see 183. Um, if we go off here to 28 feet. I thought when they were showing the, when they had the step 270. Right, and that's the leaching yeah. field, yep. which would be back which here. Is, which is not the wetland to the surface water. So this is showing right 70 71 to here, 71.9. What's this, 10 feet? No, this is, what's that say upside down, 63? 63 plus, yeah, not 0.9. So if we add 63... That's 130. It's 130. Yeah. Ah. Okay. So I, I actually took a look at the older plan here, too, to see if maybe it was a carryover from that plan, but the numbers are slightly different on that, too. So we'll, we'll come to... We'll figure out what's going on. So, let's get number 20 
scale on it either to compensate the first one is to the leaching field. Fifty-five feet there, and you were going to one eighty-three. Yeah, that, that should actually be this seventy-one point nine right here. Yeah, right. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we're going down to two hundred. To the 71.9. 71 71 71 nine. Nine. It's actually not too far off from the 200 to 70, which was. Looks right. That's what it is. Yeah, I think it is actually. Yeah. It's, it's and then you're talking about. And then number two is actually a very similar request, except it's the uh, distance between the wetland and the tank as opposed to the wetland and the leaching. Mm -hmm. And that would be... Yeah. I had contacted him and asked for it in writing. Mm -hmm. separate, and I lifted it. This is what they said. So, that's Rick, the, the, the first one, I just yeah. want to go back. Sure. The, the first one, we're, we're saying... That was the information it's, they gave it's me. It's 70 when feet. Right 71 right right here. Here. Yeah. So I wouldn't That's have to right. type it all in again. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't matter. So you believe the, the, the 183, the 200 right. to 183 okay. from the leaching field. But that's where the well, community correct. is. Incorrect. 71.9. Okay. Okay, because yeah. can, can we just. Point of order. Um, November 3rd, 2017. This is where Sheila lifted. Yep these three line items mm -hmm. and put them in our board action for this appointment. Mm -hmm. None, neither this, 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 or this is matching. Yep, I agree. Okay, so, thank you, Sheila. Thank you for that. I have that sheet matching what's in the plan. If you want to look at that. I, I just did it. You know, the variants that are in the plan. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if that's all the variants. Are well, uh, the issue, too, that we're having here, Sheila, is um, the fact that the um, as built is, is incorrect in the figures. Mm -hmm. So I, I should probably revise that and get that back to you with the yeah. correct numbers okay. on there. Yeah, yeah. that would yeah. be great. Yeah. Um, you know, I, th I, I, I think, unfortunately, because of such a confusion. Oh. Um, fortune cookie, that's cool. <laughs> that would be our Miss Sheila. She oh. does that for that every nice. week. That's okay. true. They're yep. The huh? The oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I just happen to know that. Like yeah, I don't think, I don't okay. think that we um, can make a decision, Rick. That's, that's fine. I, I think that's... Very fair, fair but yeah. Well, um, while, the, while the neighbors have come, while the neighbors have I'd come, the problem is, is that we have a plan. We have a plan that we don't have figures matching up. I guess I, I guess just so we make sure you know what we're going to have to have in front of us is, can you double check um, under local the number two, three, and four because we know one's not right. So we've got to reduction to the setback to a wetland tributary to a surface water supply from 200 to 176, which is the jet Rick, tank. Rick, why don't you take this so that you have what we have as well. Okay. Okay, that might help you. Well, and I think what we're going to find is, like she had mentioned, she took this from the from from third letter. She took letter, it right so from yeah. this okay. letter. Okay. So should yep. be good. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I'll cool. just give you so, a little bit of... Okay. So Great, you can have you. that. And sure. then we go to bordering of a the, the change in the wording is for number three is the wetland bordering a tributary all right which is talking about the leaching field from 100 to 72 mm -hmm. and then we go back to the same terminology of bordering yeah, and i can see exactly what we did incorrectly there is mm -hmm. numbers one and two should be the dimensions to the tributary to a surface water supply. That word wetland's going to go away. Yeah. So basically the first two we're going to have to do is set back to the pond. 
And then three and four are going to have to do with the setback to, to the, the, the wet wetlands. Wetlands. Okay. Wetlands. Okay. To the apps, right. Yeah. And that, that's where... So that's you'll, make, you'll make some changes and yep. come back. But exactly. Is that the problem? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, our next well, uh, the biggest thing that we're, in, we're worried about is the, um, the environmental, okay, as far as the pond. And that's why we deal with the different tanks um, and the, the proximity, because if citizens up here, we'd be looking more at the tight tanks. You know what I'm saying? If, if, um, yeah, and I think Mr. Fine did want to ask a question of the neighbors. So, to you folks, thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you. It sounds like so the engineer is going to revise some of his requests for the variances, come back before the board, you will be reinvited to come. But while you're here tonight, not only thank you for coming, I'd like to ask you general a general interest or you have some concerns oh, well, we're my, always my era. interested in what's going on around us mm -hmm. we've been next to this land for many years we have actually sort of protected it we have watched to make sure that it doesn't be didn't never became a drinking site yep a camping site that you didn't have people wandering around uh, these areas coming off the pond. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the geese have always been. Uh, Those are another issue. Yeah, That's yeah, another a, issue. Put a little uh, uh, sort of a uh, chain link. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not a chain link. Yeah, to put a barrier the so across the there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're mean. Oh, oh God, yeah. 20, 40 of them coming. But if know. a home went up there? You know, I don't know. Um, it's one of those things where change is difficult. We're used sure. to having a forest, those monumental trees. Mm -hmm. uh, in some ways, um, I would hate to see those trees disappear. They have to have been here for three or four hundred years. Probably too long. I don't know, but uh, you kind of look at that and you go, oh, the, the thought of you know, all the saws coming in and mm -hmm. all that is kind of disruptive. But, you know, this is someone's property, yeah. and they want to do something they with it. They have the right to do what they want with it. And yeah. they have mm -hmm. the right to do whatever they want with it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And that's if, just like when we bought our property. Um, it, it's kind of the same thing. Right. You know, we had to go through variances. It took mm -hmm. us over a year or more to get the oh, septic system the septic and, yeah. approved by 15,000 people. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? <laughs> so oh, yeah, Brockton had to approve it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where, the, that's where are the homeowners to now? Wow. That's crazy. Where are they? But they were um, yeah. He wasn't able to well, make it to the meeting today. No, I, no. I'm so, I don't mean where are they now at 7 or 5 p.m. Where are they living now? Oh, I believe they're in Danvers, yeah. Okay. Yep. And they're looking to come to the home? I believe so, yeah. Sounds, looks or like you've been sitting on it for and, quite some and time. Build and, and resale. I was surprised to look at the old plan and see abandoned theater and dance hall. Mm. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that may have been part of the Mayflower Grove. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure, but um, looking at you know Big Sandy and the proximity, and of course uh, Bryanville. Yep. That whole area. My only thought possibly was that may have been the same dance hall, mm -hmm. which would put it geographically, I think, near the movie theater approximately where it probably mm -hmm. should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yep, we'll we need some work on, that back on the plan. Let's get the numbers a little clearer. Yep. Um, will you please let ComCom know that we have tabled this? Sure. Um, our next meeting is not scheduled until January 2nd. 18th. I'm sorry, January 22nd 22nd is our next meeting. Okay, so we'll continue to January 22nd then. Okay, if you could let the homeowner know. we Will do. And then... Um, and you'll have to notify the abutters again. Yeah, we've got to re-notify the abutters yeah. for that meeting. Okay, this well, wouldn't exactly be a continuation of... That wouldn't be a continuation of this meeting? This is what... Uh, no, well, it would be a continuation, but you have yeah. to let the... Build it. I don't know. A butters know well, just okay. the that what? the plan was the revised. Are we actually on the okay. map at all? Or? No. No. Not on this one that you're showing your, your home right now. Where we are. Yeah. Do we have a time? But you have the same. Uh, yeah, plan she can put you on the agenda for 645, same time. I don't know. This is quite a steep deal. Okay. <laughs> and then your brother oh, is, is yeah. waiting in the hall. Waiting in the hall. So, um, waiting in the wings. 
thank you again. Well, I reiterate, Mr. 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 Fine, for, thank, um, you thank you for coming. And um, we do have another. Um, we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Couple of couple weeks. weeks. January we'll look 22nd. forward to that day. Right. Well, the weather got better anyway. Yeah. Uh, we're going no, to that Arctic temperature. Yeah, they're yeah, right next to us. But he is going to tell. Nice to meet yeah. you, Mr. Duffy. Um, Thank you. Uh, is don't you worry about that. Is we conservation going to be able to um, okay, all the day. Uh, are you gonna go to vote on yours too tonight? I, I think they will. Conservation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. We'll let them make that decision, no. but um, now, yeah, I think they right. should be able to. Okay. Will you inform them of what we, we said, will. though? Of course. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. okay. Who's next? Okay. It would be interesting. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah. take the elevator up. It's in the conference room. You're upstairs. Oh, uh, uh, advisory is um, in here. Right. Okay. And I'll walk up. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Kevin Grady, come on in. How's that? Bob Barker-esque. Uh, they what they can say? come Bob together. Um, no, Kevin Grady, I come on in. They they are, in we got they, Bob Barker. You've been watching a lot of game shows and they're stuff gonna, lately. They're going to come in together. Um, Mr. Grady and Mr. Seelan. Mm -hmm. They're going to sit together. So... Gail. Wait, Kev, this is Kevin Grady. This is yes. Kevin, his brother. Kevin, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin was here before. Sheila, you were not at that meeting that Gary and I um, heard the dilemma that was going on. Um, I'm sure you've read this and read the minutes of the meeting, so you kind of get the gist of where we were at. Um, okay. We ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I got a couple minutes to kill before I go to conservation. Okay. Um, we do know this is Kevin Grady. Um, if Kevin you Seelan. Kevin Seelan. Nancy Seelan. And Nancy Seelan. Thank you for, for coming. For moral support. For moral yeah. support. Okay. Okay, Sheila's just going to have you um, sign in. We are um, being videotaped as well as tape recorded, so we just need to have a log of who's here. Nancy Seelan is your sister, right? <laughs> no. I better half. The important half. Right. Okay. And Sheila, I'm done with this. F I don't want to. I don't want to misplace it. Thank you, Gary. Oh, thank you, sir. He's very helpful tonight. Because he was here early. Yeah. <laughs> so, Kevin. Um. We know what happened. We know when you came in front of the board. We approved, we granted complete instructions on what we needed to happen with Victoria. Um, after the fact, we found out that our health agent was not contacted to come out and look at it before it was covered over. So there was no verification, in fact, that eyes were on it that could confirm that it was as stated on the plans. Okay. Um, what happened for the Board of Health was is that the buyer had not been informed by any of the parties that were selling that it had actually even failed and then could not get any information. So the home buyer was extremely upset with the Board of Health and kind of put us in a bad situation. Um, if you could just give me the fast track on when you left our board meeting with instructions that you could 
They were going to close on Friday. We met on Monday. You were going to have contact Kevin. Lisa was in a conference. She was going to be contacted so she could have eyes and be there before it got covered over. Can you just tell me where the communication, if there was a communication issue, how? So, I, uh, yeah, sure. We left the meeting and we went over in detail the status of the septic system and went over um, what needed to be done to remedy the system so that we pass a Title V inspection. That remedy was replace the D-Box mm -hmm. um, and redo the report, which we did. Mm -hmm. um, what I do is uh, inspect the system mm -hmm. and draw an as-built plan and add it to the, uh, the file. And um, that's exactly what I did. Okay. Did you translate to Mr. Seelin that we needed the health agent per our rules and regulations that our health agent had to be on site as well? Um, for the install, I mean, it, it's just the inspection is the, the is when they typically come up. Um, <coughs> yeah, because the health agent is, is out there we specifically right, needed her to that's the have eyes standard, on That's the standard yep. procedure. They take mm -hmm. a peek at it when we're done installing it, mm -hmm. um, which she eventually did. I mean, she did get out there and see the distribution box. Mm -hmm. um, Do we have to have, did it have to be uncovered again for her know, to see it, it? It was backfilled as a riser mm -hmm. that you can I see. Took some pictures. Yeah. Okay. So you, you can see that the inlets and the uh, water level and the risers, the chimneys. Um, you know, I don't think she saw it at the most, you know, the, the perfect time, but mm -hmm. she's able to, to witness that it's structurally sound and the water is moving through. Okay. And, and, and she has, in fact, verified that. Um, we know that there was, it, this is a, was a different situation, not really kind <coughs> of standard protocol. Um, and I know why, because they were trying to get it closed up, done, closed up, and conveying on Friday. Um, do you, either one of you, have any questions for Mr. Grady in regards to his portion of any of this? I don't at this juncture, Madam Chair. Okay. I think I'm just a little confused as, when did the health agent go out after you installed, after you took care of it? Um, Lisa was at a conference down the Cape, mm -hmm. and they called her up off the Cape. So she left the conference early to get up before dark. So that they opened it up so she could look at it. So I think it was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the same I day you installed the rolling takes I don't think she saw it not backfilled, though, did she? No. She saw it after it was Yeah, after it mm -hmm. was So I'm not sure if it was the same walk. day. Yeah. I, think I thought it was a Wednesday so we're not and talking, then a Thursday. Uh, we're not talking several days. We're only talking. We're talking the same day. Yeah, the same day or the next. No, day. Or the the next was, day. it was yeah. the next day. Okay, it was the next day. Okay, yeah. right. The next day. Uh, yeah, we yeah. installed it on the fourteenth, and Lisa came the fifteenth. Okay. Right. right. Okay. Right. Okay. So there was that one time that she didn't look at it. That's right. Kevin mm -hmm. did come out. Kevin came. Yeah, yep. you were there, but. Right. She was we, in I had forgotten that she right, was in because we had had yeah. so many phone calls from the home buyer, we had to make sure that we had somebody from the Board of Health there, yeah. okay? Yeah, she Before it was backfilled so right. that she could see it, because it was a backfill with a raise up, a deep box with a raise up, um, which caused all the problems. Um, well, it wasn't really, I mean, the distribution box it wasn't really. The, the water level wasn't really elevated significantly. Mm -hmm. It was elevated enough where the previous inspector felt like it, he could um, fail it. So it wasn't like really hydraulically failed up in the D box. Right. What happens is when they went down there and they dug it, the D box typically gets a lot of oxygen movement through there and it tends to spall and it did. So it was deteriorated. That was the only reason it needed to be fixed. And 
when we're fixing it, we elevate it a little bit. Otherwise, we would have just put in speed levelers that would have mm -hmm. elevated the water level in there. The distribution box was just spalled and needed to be replaced. Okay. Otherwise, when you put the backfill on it, it Correctly. probably would have crushed. It, it crumbled. It was crumbling when we, were, when we were trying to take the cover off. The cover just disintegrated in our hands. Mm -hmm. I think you see a lot of distribution box replacements on. Right, and that's a that's a conditional pass. Yeah. You know, it's just a repair of a component. Right. Um, right. That's the component that tends to spall. It mm -hmm. needs right. to be like your oil filter. Pulled out. Put another one in. Okay. So, I have great respect for you. Okay, um, and I just want to make sure, and I know this was this was unconventional, that you do know that a Title V inspection, before it's performed, you have to apply for a license to do so. Yes, in okay. Pembroke. In Pembroke. Correct. Okay. Um, you came before the board, we gave you a conditional pass, and we granted permission with specific guidelines. Um, the conditional pass, um, the, so you pa then you passed in a conditional pass for the Title V because we had the old Title V, which was a fail. Yep. Okay, so we got the conditional Title V in, yep. um, and then we got a passing Title V report for Victoria Lane. So if anybody in the future opens up the file in that drawer, there is a failed by Wind River, there is a conditional pass by Grady Engineering, and then there is a Title V passing mm -hmm. report. None of that information can be removed and replaced. It just has to be added in. And we've got two other ones since I've been on the board that we've had similar situations. You know, it, yep. we leave it up to whoever is interested in the property. They have to make a determination. What do you mean none of them? I didn't get your statement. Which statement? I, as far as none of them, well, we can't take things out of the file. They cannot be removed. No, they can't. No, no. Because what, what, what was looking for was, I think, when this first came about, they wanted to get rid of the Title V and replace it with a conditional pass. But because it had already been a Title V failure by an engine of licensed an engineer, yep. an inspector, inspector, Title V inspector, the seller didn't believe it. So he hired Mr. Seelan, I mean, Mr. Grady, to come out and do his own Title V, which it, where they realized it was just a component fail. Mm -hmm. But we cannot alter the the no you can't history. Alter. <coughs> so no that's public it, record that yeah, is I don't know that I, I, know I don't I know why we would do that yeah. yeah that wasn't in dispute I, I asked for it to be removed I thought uh, we were just we were trying to get a pass one that we could give to the home buyer and not give them the failed one because in fact it was a conditional pass so mm -hmm. we made a story sure. a history line yeah, I mean, I don't recall asking to remove it, mm -hmm. remove the... Replace the, it? Yeah, no, we just, no? we re-inspected it, mm -hmm. right? That's... So that's so we came before the board asking us to accept the conditional pass. Mm -hmm. So we didn't ask you to remove the old one. So with anything. the understanding that the other one would be there, with the... Okay. The conditional yeah. failure would be there. Okay. And then the conditional pass would state that it was a D-box... Right, we were just you know, yeah. And then once the D-box was done, then we had a pass. Yeah, we were okay. just substituted. Okay. Thank, Thank you for that. Yeah. Stays intact. Conditional, so right. Back in time, can in time, we'll be right. able to say. See, and yeah. we have it documented as well as I think we even put the minutes of the meeting in the folder so that they could right. see when the board talked about it and when it was delivered. Yeah, we have photos and everything's documented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, Kevin Seelan. We missed you on our meeting, but we understand that you had a wrong date. Um, we decided and voted to fine a hundred dollar fine, which I believe that you've you taken care of that. No, no. Okay, Sheila, it was a hundred dollars. It was a hundred dollars. Okay. I didn't take care of that, did I? No. 
<laughs> now you sound like my husband. <laughs> Did we eat yet? <laughs> that was voted uh, on the House of Oh, God. The last time. Yeah. The, la uh -huh. the, la the last. And it was two two weeks. Yeah. yeah. So two weeks, then Kevin, yeah. two weeks, and we were going to have yeah. um, Mr. Seelan come in. And, um, and that vote, I believe it was a two to one vote. It was a two to one vote. Um, but Kevin wanted to come in and, and... Well, I apologize for missing up that time. I just mm -hmm. had that all... I don't know what happened. Okay. Um, so originally, he was scheduled to come in on November 27th, and we canceled that meeting. Mm -hmm. And we rescheduled it for December 11th. But somehow he was thinking it was December 27th. Well, on the other... Okay. Yeah, the other right yeah, one there is... About the letter that came out had, sick when you called, had anyway. some <laughs> dates out of his order. For two months. Um, I don't know if you gave him the same letter that I received. There were two letters. Well, yeah, one went out with a... There was a, yeah, it was dated November 30th, and it asked us to come to a November 27th meeting. <laughs> it was, um... I handed him one, the right yeah, one. Yeah, just saying that there's definitely some confusion with some dates there. Yeah, there is. And, and there is, it was. absolutely. Yeah, it was, I got it after the, right. the date that I was supposed to appear or something. I, I don't yeah. know. And then there was probably another date that, who knows. Well, I handed you one with the right mm -hmm. date, but you were running out. So you probably that, that sounds like home. me. <laughs> uh, right. Put it in the machine and... The issue, Madam, <laughs> is the issue, Madam Chair, that our health agent did not get to inspect the D-Box before Correct. it was covered. Yeah. Correct. I noted that she did here, so I want you to make sure you cross that out. That's a mistake now that I'm thinking about it. I think you... She in the letter we submitted. It. Not before it was backfilled. Now I remember, yeah. yeah. On 11 14 17, my note there says that Kevin Grady and Lisa came to inspect it. But she didn't come till afterwards. We took, we took the cover off, so I just crossed up Lisa. So are yeah. you saying, are you saying that Lisa was there? No. She was no. there after that. She, she came was... afterwards, the next day, on the 15th. The next right. day, okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm certain of that. She spent right. quite a bit of time with the buyer. Um, yes, who was extremely the process, and she. Well, we all did. Mm -hmm. We all did, but Lisa did a pretty good job. She she went right through the whole process, and okay. I think she was she satisfied when she left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you know, from my outside view, working with Kevin mm -hmm. all the time and contractors just like him, they install whole systems and larger projects and they call and they get inspections and they have a rapport. Mm -hmm. This job just the whole way it came around and it's a little D box. It, you know, I yeah. think you get going on it and you forget that it's actually something that needs to be inspected. Mm -hmm. I think it's just an oversight um, that he remedied. Mm -hmm. You know, as soon as it became apparent that, oh yeah, I was supposed to do that. It's I think it's one thing when you have a whole large project where you have you know your inspections you have your deliveries and you have everything moving in a certain order when you have one that comes in like a it's all over the place mm -hmm. these I think these things happen um, more often on those situations than they do on one where you wrote a proposal and you thought it out and you have the whole mm -hmm. plan right? mm -hmm. you have your days planned out this is mm -hmm. like all right hurry up and get over here and look at this all right stop Wait a week. Go to the board of health. Okay, hurry up. Come over here and install this. Wait, stop. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's just not in orderly fashion. Right. So I can see it happening, and yep. I've seen it happen on similar small. And mm -hmm. the owner, of course, was animated and wanted to get things done, and sure. he wanted well, to close. He, he, and I mean, right. he's pushing me, and I'm mm -hmm. like, and then now, wait a minute, hold it. You know, we, you know, I was on the phone to you. It, I must have called you more on this little stupid thing than I than I've done on. And huge projects. And you were know. meeting with Lisa. And he actually right. met with the prospective buyer who didn't even own it at the time. Right. For really something for him, it's and for me, this whole job is more of a headache than something we even want to take on. I don't. Mm -hmm. I didn't want any right. part of this job. He had to pry me from my seat to go out there. Mm -hmm. um, I had productive stuff to work on. We went out there. We tried to tell him he failed it. We didn't want anything <clears throat> to do with it. But he was certain that it wasn't failed. And you know what? I thought he was right. He was. Mr. Holstein? Yeah. Yeah, he was mm -hmm. right. We dug the, the thing end. up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We dug up the far end and it was, it was perfect. It was perfect. Yep. Dry. Perfect. Yep. When you talk about a, a remedy, Lisa came out the next day 
just help me to understanding. Did you contact Lisa the next day, or did Lisa realize that the D box was covered and she hadn't seen it? I'm just trying. Um, I don't remember the exact way it worked, but we knew Lisa was going to be there. Either she called me or I called her because we met at, I, I want to say it was like 3 o'clock. It was, it late, was late, late in the afternoon. Yeah. She was trying to get there before dark. And we were there, and, and she said the owner, may, the buyer might be there. Mm -hmm. um, and I called Rick. I says, are you going to come? And he says, do you think I should? I said, maybe you shouldn't. <laughs> You know, I just didn't want to create a situation. Yeah, well, you, it was like an adversarial, well. you know what I mean? One yep. side, other side, yep. you know? Right. So I told him, no, I, I think Kevin Grady's going to be there. I'll be there. Lisa will be there. So, no, that was that was prearranged. I had the cover uncovered. And, mm -hmm. It was arranged that day she came up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I remember we were trying to work with Lisa, the, too, because she was at that. real convention. convention. She was at something, yeah. yeah. So, conference. So she had, like, some conference. shortened days. She had very little time. The to, yeah, she was, she was down for um, time. That was, well, Let's just conference. agree that that, right. was got, that was a tough week. There were a lot of dynamics oh, playing yeah. into there that was, week. There was a lot. Excuse playing. me. Can, can you just say that again? What, I wanted everyone to hear that. We got a call starting that morning. Our office. Yeah. So this is the next day after the D-Box was covered. Right, yep. that, that we didn't know that yep. they had completed it. That the, um, I think, did you email me in Title V? <laughs> Probably, I email everything. Title V came in faster. as a tax. And then I got a call from the realtor for the buyer. buyer. And also the buyer called. And they're like, you know, what, what do you got for Title V on it? And we, we've been asking for a Title V. No one's giving us a Title V. They keep saying it's coming. And we thought when River was doing it, I'm like, well, River, River was was out, I have, now I have three Title Fives. <laughs> I have a fail, a conditional, and a, and a pass. Mm -hmm. So Lisa, Lisa the so Board of Health of Office. I came in, I believe, I can look through the email, it said that, you know, the repair was completed. And then I was like, how was the repair completed? Because Lisa's been out of the office for two days. Well, she was in her second day out. So there wasn't any communication between the health agent and Kevin. No. We knew from the real, from the bias real no, I mean, well, so I knew from Kevin my Kevin knows that, like, you know, when he does his normal thing, mm -hmm. he touches face, you know, I'll put the system in, I'm going to be looking for a bottom of the hole. Around right. right. such and such. Try and give okay. him a thumbnail sketch, right. And right. There, there wasn't any of that. But again, like, Oh. I don't know what well, it was. It was a difficult week. We were a little crippled with the health agent being not around. You people were under four days, because if you appeared here on Monday, then you only had four days. Right. So, kind of looks like the perfect storm to me. Mm -hmm. But we have to have, um, we have certain protocols that have to be followed. Um, you guys know them. A lot of the installers, almost all of the installers know it. Um, and I mean, Kevin I has know. been working in town for I know 20 is. years. I know he And is. I bet if you look through all your files and magically look through there, you probably wouldn't find any notes on him neglecting to call the uh, health agent for inspections. It's clearly an oversight clearly an oversight that he remedied as soon as he could. Um, there's definitely no disregard. If it was disregard, there would be a history. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm talking about him because I've never called an agent for an inspection, ever. Um, I'm, I get called at the same time to do the inspection. I, it's not part of my process. So I get the same calls. From these guys because they want to keep moving they want to give mm -hmm. the agent a heads up hey i'm installing this i'm going to be ready around three can you come out well, that way if they come out at three or four they're ready to go and they can backfill mm -hmm. right it's an oversight because they would have if they want to keep moving they, right. they want the agent to look at it mm -hmm. say good and give it the stamp of approval that also covers cyas for these guys exactly it, so it's like we'll i mean tell lisa at the excavation inspection Two days. You know, it's a Monday, Wednesday afternoon. We'll meet Put you back me on the, the finals, list. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and and we'll call to confirm it. But we'd like to try, and then she, you know, mentally you can see things are turning. She's like, okay, Wednesday. Yeah, I've got a perk in the morning. You know what I mean? Right. So she kind of knows. Would it be better if I could come before lunch? And then she'll, you know, she'll let me know. So now we can try and get it done before lunch. You know.
I don't think there was it's the any. The way you work with professionals, you know. Malfeasance on your part. In fact, when when we took a vote to fine you, I was actually opposed to that. I, I was. That being said, I, I wanted to have you come in here. I wanted to in, and hear a little explanation. So, is it a perfect storm? Is it a miscommunication? Is it an oversight? But at least, you know, we got you in here and. Hopefully it won't happen again. And I don't dispute the fact, I haven't gone through the files, but your, your statement that if we went through the files and looked at the records, we probably would see a very clean reporting history. And, and I don't think there's any dispute of that. But clearly something did happen and it's... There's a lot of regulations. There's a lot of things to do. Things are going to get missed. It's just going to happen. There's no way you get through a day perfectly, you know. I won't point out your letter again, but, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. you know, mistakes yeah. are made. And, and, and if you can remedy him, great. Mm -hmm. you, you know, that's why he's still in business here. He's made mistakes in the past, and he's remedied them. Mm -hmm. So have I. That's what we do. We want to stay in business. That's why we're having 217 Wampa Tuck back next time. Oh, yeah? Because so, <laughs> mistakes happen. My stamp wasn't on there, was it? No. You're clean. Very good. No. <laughs> Kevin, you have every intention of paying the fine? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, you are also um, a very notable and reputable builder in this town. Oh, I appreciate that. And, and um, it's just that if we let one, if it, we let it slide once, I, I just don't feel comfortable letting a precedence be set at all um, because we need to have these files correct um, and there are a lot of mistakes um, and we try we're learning adults so with that being said um, thank you for coming in well thanks for listening to me us I will say too that uh, Lisa does a great job Thank you. She's great to work with. She Thank gets you. it. She's accommodating. She's very accommodating. Probably the best agent. Well, why don't you call her? Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's just great. <laughs> well, we will make sure that we pass that along. We'll actually have Sheila type that up and put it in the minutes of the meeting. Okay, that's That'll make her feel good. That Nancy, it was very good. nice meeting you. Thanks for the moral support, Nancy. Always here for Your brother appreciates it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Good Thank night. you. Okay. Have a good night. Thanks, guys. You too. Happy New Year. Thanks. Uh, are both our tenant and our landlord here. Oi. The tenant okay. is here. Yeah. Oh. Have a great evening. Okay. Thanks. Oh boy, we're really late. Are we? Yeah. Seven fifteen. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry, sorry to keep you waiting. If you wouldn't mind, um, there is a clipboard right at the end of that. Um, yep. You could sign in, please. Yep. You could. Yep. And I am lieutenant. Okay. And your name is? Laura McQuicker. Okay, Laura. Apology for running late. You can sit anywhere. You can. Anywhere. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Did everybody get a chance to read this? I did, Madam Chair. I left my copies Thank at home. Thank you. Okay. I'm not saying it much. Okay. I don't. I, I know what I had. Give you one of the big rooms, huh? We don't usually have this many. Um, have a seat, Mr. Danforth. Thank you. Mr. Davenport, do you like to be called Danforth? Danforth um, William or Bill? It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter? No, it's okay. Danforth. Yep. Danforth? Yep. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.
Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Before we begin, Hi. just can I, I just want to know who these two yeah. folks are. Yeah, go ahead. Right. You are? Marianne <coughs> Brown. Oh, you? Legal advocate for Mr. William Danforth. Legal advocate for Mr. Danforth. And you are? I'm his niece. You're his niece. Okay. Thank you. And your name is? Danita. Danita? Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, 87 Taylor Street has come before us. Um, it appears that there was a dispute, ongoing dispute, but um, both parties had emphasized that they wanted to resolve it on their own. Um, I understand that there's something, eviction going on through the court system? Correct. Okay. Um, but we also have um, what's being called an illegal apartment, and we also have in our records a list of items of dated October 18th, 2017 by our health agent from an inspection that she took place um, back in October. Um, scheduled reinspection, tenant leaving, landlord not renting. Okay. So, Can somebody kind of give us a, um, what they, what this <coughs> situation is about? And I think I'm going to let um, Laura go first. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, you are the tenant? Yes. Okay, how long have you been renting? Since May 1st, 2015. Okay. How big is the unit you're renting? Um... A kitchen, living room, bathroom, and a what was called a bedroom upstairs. Are you all on I, a second I, I floor? On, I couldn't even stand up in the room. The ceilings were so low. Okay, is it on the second floor? Um, uh, my uh, apartment's on the second. That room is going up some dangerous stairs up to, to the third. Almost like an attic, like it was. It, yeah, a redone attic. Okay. Do you have your own egress? One. 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 One way in, one way out. Is that through the main house? No. I actually had to seal that off when I moved in um, okay. to separate, to make it an apartment. So there's stairs going down the side of the home, out no. the back? No. Um, the stairs, when you come into the apartment, there's a door here and a door here. I had to seal off and insulate, and then you go up the stairs into the apartment. Those two doors went into his house. One goes into his other tenant's house, and one goes in, uh, that he rents out, and the other side goes to his, his pot. Okay. So you've been there over two years? Correct. Okay, actually two and a half years. Right. Okay. One egress. Okay. And that comes down a staircase with two, so it's almost two as if I was to walk. There's three doors. Yep. Two of them I had to seal off to make it my own apartment with privacy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Separate from his. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Mr. Danforth, how long have you been attempting to evict your tenant? Is this I, I asked her to leave on September 3rd. September 3rd of? Yes. Of this year. Of this year. Yes. Is this the first time? Yes. Okay. May I ask why? Um, rent was always late and um, I have health conditions. My niece is going to move in with me. Um, Your I'm niece is going to, would be li potentially living where Miss Vicker is? Yes. Okay. I'm going to... Um, this the, one right here. Yes, okay. the two egresses that she bought it up down the bottom of the stairs, she asked me if she could when she moved in. Um, yes, they did go into my apartment, but they were egresses. Um, and... So it, this has been going on since September. Okay. How many apartments are there? There's two. One's the, the bottom floor I live on and the top floor live, um, she lives on. Okay. She's lived there for two well, and a half well, years. Well, first of all, he's not evicting me um, through the courts for her moving in. He's evicting me for late rent. Non-payment as well. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's as well. The Board of Health asked me not to pay because I was renting an illegal apartment. 
She hadn't paid prior to that. You do know this is a civil issue, right? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, we have a court proceeding go. Actually, my, my, my discovery answers should have been in today. I, I will what are you looking from the board? What are you hoping from the board on this? No. I'm not here to contest the con uh, being it being condemned. The, the basement is a major fire hazard. It's a, it's I've been a, for very condemnation. She signed a statement of con uh, in the beginning of the lease. The term she signed a statement um, of conditions. Everything he went through, everything with her. She was on the streets prior to that. He gave her a place to live. The house was built in the That is wrong information. I don't right, know but information. Well, well, wait, hold on one second. Um, it has nothing to do with this um, anyways. Okay. I had a home before I moved in there. Okay, I'm going to, uh, point of order. I'm gonna, Thank you. Okay. Um, health agent was called to the premises on October 18th by whom? Me. You. Okay. Yes. For the reason he was, t he's been stealing my electric. Okay. Um, he was so, evicting me. I, w I just wanted to get again, my I'm electric. Again, I'm not. I'm not understanding because yeah. we don't attached. even deal with the electric. Why no, no. Attached is the conditions. I've seen that. Okay. But so. And he's still, is still on my electric too, and I'm dealing with that with the courts and it's the electric a, company. There's, Lisa noted there was no carbon monoxide detectors. She took them down. They were there when she moved in. There was one on the third floor and one on the second floor. Okay. Cut off the electrical meter. Um, I don't know what that says. Curtail. Curtailment. Curtailment. He, blocked, he shut my electric off um, at the and then blocked my entrance to put my electric on. I've had the fire department there and the police there two days in a row. How could, into the how could okay. I shut okay. the okay. Safety endangerment um, no, for no GFI in the kitchen or the bathroom. The electric is it all on that? Common electric on tenants. So who's paying the electrical? Uh, she pays her electric, I pay mine. Okay. I could not, I cannot turn her electric off. The electric company doesn't let you just call up and say no. you want anyone's electric. Electrical sub up. substandard. Um, owner installed with all electrical standards. Are you Lisa? No, I'm I'm Donna Bagney, the okay. health. I'm I'm the. Um, no, the health agent is Lisa Cullody. I'm the chairman of the board of health. This is okay. Mr. Gary Fine, and this is Gail McSweeney. Thank you. So what happens is this comes in front of our board because there is a question number one it's being stated that it's an illegal apartment. If you look on the assessor's guide, yeah. it says two family. No, it, it actually says multifamily, MF. Yes. There's an SF for single family, MF right. it does is say the multi, multi It I says multifamily, yeah. okay. Multifamily can be a in-law, it can be a apartment, um, it can be an illegal, they have no all they're doing is they're counting for the number of kitchens. So there's two kitchens in it. Doesn't mean that it's a legal two family or it's a legal um, apartment. Okay. Currently, right now, it is not a legal apartment. Okay. Okay. Because there's only one egress. But it's the condition on the report. Uh, again, Madam Chair, I am really perplexed on why we are even reviewing this because I don't see the Board of Health it, it, in this at all. We do not deal with electric. Um, that's not the, you're correct. The, 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 the electrical report has nothing to do with the Board of Health. And the assessor's office would be would be where it would be contested if it was a two-bedroom or a one-bedroom. The assessor doesn't care how many bedrooms are. They just count kitchens balance. But they would be the they would be the ones that would determine mm -hmm. this, not the legality of it. The conditions were the same when the she moved in. Nothing when they changed. get it, and they say, "All right, there's two kitchens. They charge two kitchens, two, however many baths." Right. They do that because there's two kitchens and there's two separate areas that they are not. Um, she doesn't have egress into his apartment. He doesn't have egress. I'm understanding that. So to the assessors, it's two separate units. They're just looking at square footage and money. So how are we going to tell um, Mr. Danforth here that um, he's got an illegal apartment when they've got it listed as two separate units? 
it's not two separate units it's a it has two kitchens a mf standing Multi accounts I, I, I accounts for that. number of kitchens but this is a the mm -hmm. only the only issue in front of the board of health is is this a habitable it has been for the habitable last two and a half years. of the second unit but there's a determination of whether legally or illegally so now what's happened is the health agent was called in because a tenant and tenants have rights has claimed that there is a hazards within her unit. But these are not the hazards of the Board of Health. This is what I'm trying to express. But they're hazards to living, for a tenant living. This is the stuff that Lisa said, Lisa's report. She's, t she's quoting what state laws it's violating. What's well, not code? Okay, it, 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 again, it, we're, we're dealing with electric here, Sheila, and I, I'm electric not even... is safety. We're not even no, talking about... We're talking about... It's been the exact same about, way since she moved in, until she decided to board up and make it... Okay. Well, if the tenant boarded up the second access, mm -hmm. well, that was a that's got to be a building issue. That is exactly. totally a building issue. Mm -hmm. My thing with a two, you having two apartments, I believe that needs to be in the assessor's office. You need mm -hmm. to clarify that with Correct. them. As far as electrical issues, we have no right to get into that as the Board of Health. Well, that no building is going to go up in flames one of these days. Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to please. Thank you. I have to disagree with you, Gail. Okay. Electricity is a safety issue. If we have a wiring inspector. Yes, we do. Okay, so why would the Board of Health... The wiring inspector has to go out there. What does that have got to do with because the Board under, of Health? Under the rules, Massachusetts guidelines, the, the tenant has rights to have a safe and habitable unit to live in. And I understand that. Okay, great. All right, I'm going to read a statement. I've got a report in front of me. I'm speaking to Ms. McVicker, McVicker and Mr. Danforth. I've got a report in front of me that was prepared by our administrator right here. I'm going to read you a little paragraph, and I'd like you to, I want to hear from you first, and you second, I want you to address my question. So I'm first going to read you the paragraph. What's the administrator's name? Ms. Sheila Landy. Thank you, Sheila. Secretary. I've spoken with you. Okay, so I want to read you something. This ongoing dispute has been has not not been before the board yet because both parties stated emphatically that they would resolve it on their own through the courts. Mr. Danforth, landlord, said he is evicting Laura McVicker tenant. The tenant stated she was moving to Marshfield. Now the case is in the court and neither party has followed through with their plans. Okay. Um, I never stated that anything, first of all. I just asked her to leave. I had to go to the court because she went to the court and, you know, said I'm being evicted. And you continue to try to re resolve it through the courts. Is that yes. a correct statement? Yes. Okay. As far as the egresses... Well, nope, you, okay. you answered my question for the moment. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, can you speak to what I just read? Specifically, the tenant stated she was moving to Marshfield. I, I said I was looking for housing. I am disabled, though I'm not collecting. I can only work part-time. I have health issues. I need I needed time to find a place. Okay. Is what I did state. I, I said I, I applied at Marshfield Housing, um, Pembroke Housing, Plymouth Housing, I'm working with a, um, the tenant preservation program by the father bills right now. Um, I'm in the process of, I'm, I'm pretty much, I need a few more days to pack and I can move on the weekend. So, um, so you are hoping to move? I'm hoping, yeah, well, I need housing. I have no money to move. Okay. This so is why I have a counterclaim against him. Okay, so when you, I, uh, some clarification please. When you said you're hoping to move this weekend or oh. you're, you're planning? Um, I need emergency housing. Okay. To move. I need funds to move. She does collect. I have, I have three houses I clean, um, and that's it. I, my, I need surgery for my back. I have okay. another health issue I'd rather not bring up. Yep, we, we don't. So, 
your intention is to move out of this property sooner rather than well, later. Well, when the judge tells me to leave or when the Board of Health tells me to leave, I'll leave. Otherwise, so, okay, so the Board of Health does not have uh, the right to So leave. you're not planning to leave until you're told to leave? Right. I'm, I am, I'm fighting an eviction, yes. Okay, because I'm, I'm hearing two different things, Ms. McVicker. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing that, and I just, I'm not trying to be mean or no, argumentative. I'm hearing that you want to move perhaps as soon as this weekend, but I'm also hearing you say that you're not going to move unless the Board of Health or the courts tell you to move. So which is it? Either or. I need, I need money to move. I have no money. I am not in the position to move. I live on less than 650 a month. But, so you're not planning to leave unless you're forced to leave? Right. Okay. So you're not trying to move somewhere else? If I have to, I will. Okay. Thank you for that clarification. Okay. Also in our package is a letter from our inspector of wiring who has gone in and has noted um, 10, 14, uh, 10, 10 in the apartment. Um, the Board of Health has no jurisdiction, jurisdiction as far as that what the sure. electrical says. But if you look at Lisa's report, the bedroom is not habitable because of the um, the low ceiling. There's railings missing. There's one means of egress. Those are things that make it uninhabitable for people. I need to. Are there two bedrooms in that unit? It's a studio. Oh, it's a loft. Studio. It's a studio. There's no. There's no. What makes it a bedroom? She's made it illegal and brought the claim after she was not paying him and after he went for an eviction proceeding. Up until that time, for the last two and a half years, everything was habitable, everything was fine. She stopped paying. He filed pr uh, the eviction proceedings, That's and now she's reaching to right make I, everything I illegal, uninhabitable. Reaction. You need to please stop Sorry. talking while. I just can't believe the lies. Well, give her a turn, please. Thank you. She signed a statement of condition at the beginning of the lease. Everything was fine. The house was built in 1800. Whether or not the electric is at issue or not, um, he was told by an electrician that it would be grandfathered in, or it should be grandfathered in. Okay. But again, she's been there for two and a half years, and there was no problem, no issue at all, until she stopped paying. So where I see the, the real problems that are lying with the health agent's report um, was that there was no egress, the second egress to go out, but uh, your tenants already your tenant blocked that door up. Both doors, yes, there are um, two of them. And then the studio, the and attic, the board. which is, he, she's renting a studio apartment, and I've, when I was younger, I had several, and a studio apartment is one room. Right. Your kitchen, your bed, your living room, That's all combined. Right. Um, so I'm not understanding... Uh, to me, I don't understand why you would make a, an upstairs that's not habitable into a living area. He told me when I moved in it was a one bedroom. I never signed any conditions. I'd a like to studio see that is... It's a not a studio. He told me it was a one bedroom, the stairs going up to a room. I, I know. I, it's I, actual... I she had actual knowledge that. that it was a studio. No, a one bedroom false. has to have a closet. A right. To no, make a, a bedroom husband. a bedroom, it, it has, has to, to have a closet. closet. He's There's rented no this closet. apartment for the for last... 20 something years. And had five or So six I have tenants. a question. I'd like to um, bring this back to egress because this is something that I... Okay. I know about. So yep. we've got a house. You walk in a door. Yeah. There's three doors. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. One door goes upstairs? Right. And the other two go into my apartment. So the right goes into what room into your apartment? It goes into the hallway. Okay. So why are you not calling it your house? Why are you calling it your apartment? Because it's two apartments. Okay. <laughs> well, it's under the multi-family. Two, two family. And where he's rented it out for the and last 20 the years. And the left side? That goes, in, the, goes into a bedroom. Okay. So but it's an access to get out of the upstairs. Okay. Is that a bedroom that you're using? I'm not using it. I have a tenant that rents there on the weekends. Okay. So and he uses it on the weekends. Okay. So family members. you're renting rooms? You're I rent, rent one room in one my room? downstairs okay. in my house. So, so that door member. can't come off? It most certainly can. Well, you have somebody that's sleeping in there on the weekends. If there was a fire, I, I'd rather have them run out that door and 
run through someone's bedroom mm -hmm. than not have any egress. Mm -hmm. Right. It is an egress. It's a door out of her apartment. That's Just what an well, egress is. An egress is to the outside. Oh, okay. The well, door you can out run through, out through my apartment, which is my in my house. On okay. the is, does, floor. The, does the bedroom have another door on the other side? Yes, it does. Okay, so that door, yeah. okay, because there's a door here yeah. and there's a door here, yeah. in order to open a door, you have to open another door. You can't go directly outside. No, you can't. Okay, so upstairs yeah. on the second floor yeah. is one egress. If you look at it that way, yes. Yes. There's one to the outside, then there's one on her floor that goes out to a deck. With no stairs. With, yeah, th that was my next question. Is there any no. stairs no. to no. get down? Is there any drop fire chain? There was chain? at one point and it's gone. No. Yes, okay. there was. I don't know where it's gone. She's it's been there like two the and a half detectors. years. Mm -hmm. They were in there. I mean, Ms. Danforth's been very respectable. Um, in the town, and as far as he's never had any issues with any of his prior tenants, there was um, hanging up until what was it two months ago, and then no, it was gone. it's been longer. Than, I don't look up there. I don't right. know when it disappeared. Mm -hmm. But it disappeared, okay. and it was right after the complaint went to the board. Okay, because what we're being, what, what we and I actually went to the assessor's office before our meeting. I got here at 6 o'clock and okay. I wanted to speak to the assessor's Thank office. You. Whether it's legal or it's not legal is what has to be determined. Right, and he has no problem if he has to replace it by putting it, you know. And, 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 and if it is to be rented, okay. it needs to be brought up to code. Brought up to code. Absolutely. You're not, and I, and I you're not grandfathered. That. So right. your electrician that told you that you're grandfathered no. uh -huh. is not true. Okay. You are not grandfathered. Okay. You are renting, you are taking in a form of money uh -huh. from a tenant and you are providing them housing. Right. Okay. As a landlord, you ha it has to be safety. It has to fall within the safety guidelines. Right. And that's so the now the problem that I see is if there are no smokes and working carbons mm -hmm. on the second floor, right. and there is a fire on the second floor. We have no problem replacing. They were all there. Okay. She can't get out of her unit if she can't get to that one door. She's got to go down another one. Right. She's got to. She's got to come down. Is right. it acceptable if we go and get the ladder down again? That it was like a drop ladder. You had a balcony. It was never you said. There's a balcony out the second. I've old pictures. Yeah, you would need to um, hold on one second. Would that make it okay. comply? Um, you, what you really need to do is you need to talk to the right departments as far as what the compliance is. Okay. I would suggest you talk to Mr. Very about your wiring. Okay. I would suggest you go upstairs and you talk to the assessor's office. Mm -hmm. You should also check with zoning, because zoning will be able to advise of whether it is a legal mm -hmm. or illegal dwelling for rent. And if you are a landlord, then the entire house, even though you're renting a, a room, in, in your main home to somebody, okay, because mm -hmm. I'm sure they're paying you. Yes. They, you have to provide them a safe living. That, if Mr. Danforth is living there and you're living there, I, I suggest an electrician go through the whole house okay. with a fine tooth comb. Because now you have to worry about your own safety, oh, let alone somebody yeah. else, mm -hmm. okay? We can't get involved in the eviction process. Mm -hmm. That's something that you're bringing that's civil through the court. court. That's yeah. right to the courts. Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, other, go ahead. Our madam, our chairwoman, just made the point that we can't get involved in the eviction process right. through the court. Yeah. She's correct. But I, I would like to, you are, I'm asking a question, you are continuing the process of trying to uh, evict Ms. McVicker. Trying. Is that a true statement? Financially, it's been hard because Mr. Danforth had been on dialysis three to four times every week 
and financially, ever since she stopped paying, it's put him in a back situation. Okay, but it, but he is trying to pursue legal advocates and you know people that will assist him. Okay, because so with that being said, I'm going to put a motion before the board. And if there are more, if there are further questions, and so be it. My motion is to table the condemnation order of 87 Taylor Street until our next meeting, which is two weeks from now, the 22nd of January. To That's our next court date. That's Thank it. you. So we'll table it? No, no, no. I'm, nope. I'm putting a motion oh, before okay. the board. It has to be seconded. I'd second. Should she be living in, a, in, a, in an apartment that's, that's unsafe? I mean... Well, that's what we're going to table for two weeks, if it's approved, the motion, to find out. There's, there's a lot of things. Uh, unfortunately, it's, it's developed tentacles. Um, it is an unfortunate situation. We don't have jurisdiction on quite a few of the issues right. to make any we can We can deal with the Board of Health as far as... Um, Habitability. Well, if, if there was a hoarder situation in mm -hmm. there or um, oh, rats or mm -hmm. things like that, that's when we, we come into it. The electrical is just... That's Mr. Very. Okay. Um, what about... Well, it has to be brought up to compliance. Yes, so there was it has a to be brought up. Um, and and Gail, um, Gail seconded it. Okay, yes. so now you vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Okay. So now we know that the 22nd you're going to court. Correct. <coughs> Does anything prevent you from coming back here that evening? No. Great. Well, didn't she say she was going to be out this weekend? Okay. The, the motion to condemn your property was and tabled, tabled until two, two weeks. For two weeks. From now. So there's no decision on that issue. Okay. 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 Now, they're not condemning the whole house. They're not making We're not decision. making a decision. Okay. It's tabled. It's continued. We're going to talk about weeks. it again in two weeks. Okay. So, in the I'm, meantime, yeah. get proactive and talk to these departments. Okay. Just get proactive and see where you possible. are with them. Okay. Do some research so when you come back here, yeah. you can give us some kind of answers where I've talked to them, whether it's a two-family, two um, whether it's an illegal apartment or a legal apartment. Zoning is Talk to Mr. Very about the wiring. Where it's That's an emergency issue whereby it might actually be considered in two weeks uninhabitable for her. And again, it's an emergency situation. He wants access to put in the smokes and to make it as habitable as it can be for the next two weeks. Right. Okay? As so far as accessing to make it as habitable as possible. Well, that's something that I think that we... That's what I'm going to. I'm going to make a motion. Okay. Okay? But I'm going to speak to you first. Okay. Okay? Okay. I don't care what happened to the smokes and the carbons. Okay. 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 But I care now because I didn't know about them before. There was only one when I entered the apartment. Okay. So now there needs to be one mm -hmm. on the second floor. Okay. And there needs to be one on the third floor. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right now, tomorrow, you need to have on the second floor because it's such a small area, okay. a combination smoke and carbon um, yeah. that is a um, photoelectric. It's hence state of the art. Nope. Sta yeah. it, it, it senses not only smoke, but heat. Okay. Fire department says it has to be 20 feet away from the bathroom and the kitchen stove. Because she is living on the third floor, you need a sm regular smoke and carbon combined up there. Not with the photoelectric? Not photoelectric. Okay. A photoelectric now senses heat and smoke. And that has to be 20 feet away from the bathroom? Uh, on the second floor, yep. Okay. In the oven? The stove and the bathroom. Because okay. the steam in the, in the, from a shower 
can set it off. Mm -hmm. That is going to gain you safety. Okay. That is Thank going you. to gain you peace of mind, yeah. some form of peace of Absolutely. mind. Absolutely. So I'm making a motion that as of tomorrow, okay. you are going to allow the homeowner mm -hmm. to have somebody come in. Somebody. Can okay. he okay. himself? I don't think he should I, be installing, no. No. I don't. Okay. I'd rather like the fire, a fire department or a professional. Fire department's not Fire department do it. Oh, okay. won't come in and do it. Okay, and right. again, financially, if it means that... Financially, someone... financially, they're about $60 a piece. They can be screwed right into the ceiling. Right, but uh, what would prevent... I'm a landlord myself, and mm -hmm. I've installed them myself, mm -hmm. okay? I think he has too many health issues to right. be able to get mm -hmm. up on but a I'm ladder. Saying, as a landlord, you can do it. if I have to go in and do it? You can do it. Okay. As long as they're working. Okay. They need to be battery backup. I would yep. suggest you take somebody with you. Absolutely. Right. Okay. okay. Will you allow her and someone else mm -hmm. to have access to that unit yes. to have these installed? Yes. I'll be out of work by, I think, one, maybe 2, 2.30. Okay, so they can go in before two thirty. No, after. After no, two thirty. Like, I have two cats. You would like to be sick, there, and one of them attacks people. Okay. I would. I and I've always told them that do not go near my cat. I've okay. Always held okay. My cat. So after two thirty. Okay. Okay. I'm going to. I'm going to leave you with my cell phone number. Okay. I'm going to have Sheila give it to you. you. I will be in town. Okay. If you cannot gain access. I can promise they can. Okay, because I'm, be, I'm, I'm going to have to. until 4 o'clock. Okay, so between 2.30 and 4. 4. Yes. Okay, so let's get my cell phone number because if, if she can't get in. Oh, no, I can promise you she will. Okay. I will be, make sure I am at my house by 2.15. Okay. And if there's no access, call If you. there's no access, you're to call me and I will have a police officer Thank accompany you. me over. Okay. Okay. No, yeah. Thank you for that, too. Okay, because we are going to put this... Um, on our agenda okay. for January 22nd, I would like to see that you make all efforts mm -hmm. to find suitable housing. I have been trying. There's okay. nothing out there I can afford. Well, I am, I'm looking for emergency housing. Okay, because let me tell you something. If we had agreed tonight mm -hmm. to condemn this unit, mm -hmm. you would be out tomorrow morning. I understand that. Okay. Yes. So... I can't get emergency housing either. I know. It's so I'm, I'm stuck you, between you a rock and a hard place here. You just okay. got you just got a small pass. I know. I don't necessarily know what's going to happen in two weeks. Okay. But I need you to understand that if a condemnation is put on that unit, mm -hmm. not the house, mm -hmm. you will be escorted out of the property and okay. it will be taped off. Where you end up. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I, I know. Okay. Trust me, I'm, I've been spending a lot of okay. time in the law library. Respectfully, <laughs> Donna, um, when she's a smoker, if there's ever uh, an outlet for an egress, uh, we would like permission, again, assuming it's in compliance, to possibly put some type of an egress, whether it's an emergency, the chain, uh, the chain ladder, because we right now feel that since everything has been taken out mm -hmm. and it's been unsafe mm -hmm. that we really feel like to condemn it now would be a good idea unless we can repair the other things that need to be repaired. Right. More than happy to take a ladder and go up to the deck. So and put it respectfully, we're the first asking ladder there. I mean, it just seems that if there was a fire. Right. Can you get a ladder? Can you get a chain fire escape ladder? Probably not, and that's what our biggest concern is. If there's a fire in there, there's a she's fire. a drinker. If she can't get okay. out, okay, so respectfully, we're... So in your lease, in the lease that, that Mr. Danforth had with her, mm -hmm. was she was non-smoking? No, that wasn't the issue. The fact that she's a smoker... And we're looking, we don't want to be held accountable or liable. Right, we're asking you, basically, if it's considered uninhabitable, she shouldn't be there. Mr. Danforth's a smoker. What's the difference? He smokes outside. No, he does not. There's well, also I'm, I'm, an issue about drugs being sold at its property. Okay, 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 hold on. That, that is, if, if there's an issue, mm -hmm. I would beg you to please walk across the street. 
Well they're they're up all night. Okay. Yeah, they are. Okay. Twenty four seven. So <laughs> that that I'm is very familiar, Mr. Okay, Duke, I know. That I understand. The window where there's no egress. God forbid there was a fire and she couldn't get out. Mm -hmm. I mean, the uninhabitability of the apartment as it stands right now is pretty prevalent. Right. Well, we already voted. We've okay. already voted to allow this. And there's no reconsideration of that motion because, again, we're feeling right now that. She can't get, he can't get in and take care of it to make it habitable. And we're talking two weeks. What do you mean he can't we get just in? just agreed for the... Hold on. I, I'm talking she has with the floor. respect to an, a, an egress, an, egress. an yes. outlet, okay? If there is a fire, if there's something that The happens, only thing that you can do is take that door down that is on the uh, left side mm -hmm. into that bedroom and nobody spends the weekend. Mm -hmm. And nobody is in that bedroom and that that bedroom that door is left open so that if there is a fire mm -hmm. she can get down the stairs and go out that way Madam Chair is that actually a second means of egress if it's the same hallway she's still got to go down the stairs right right I, I, my understand normally you go yeah. down the stairs and out the door right right, right. so right. we think it's just the doors on fire and she's going to take a right that's what the ladder's for I'm asking you right. respectfully yeah. to reconsider the motion because we feel after reviewing all these issues that they found that it is, it is in fact in, uninhabitable and she shouldn't be living there. We want to remedy everything, but she can't be there because she's taken everything down that we've tried to do in the past. This is where is the, when you go to court on mm -hmm. the 22nd, right. this is where a lot of this is going to be cleared up. Right. And it's going to unmuck it for us so that we can concentrate on uh, the specifics. Because right now... Is there any like way we can table it for less than two weeks or you don't meet again until... It's just we feel that it's an emergency situation. We want to make it in compliance. It's just going to take time and his health situation is not something that we can just... Mr. Danther, are you just starting dialysis? No, I'm in the end stage renal failure. I've been on dialysis going on six it's years. He's on a downward, okay. and that's why he's bringing in his niece as a caretaker mm -hmm. as well. But we're trying to remedy the whole situation given the issues that have since come up. We've never... So he's not going to be renting that second floor? No. No? I suggest you don't. Excuse no. me? I suggest you don't. No, we're not. Yeah. But we want to be able to remedy it. But liability-wise... That's where our biggest issue is, the fact that... Well, let me ask you a question. You're renting an apartment. Did you get contents insurance? No, I did not. For I, your um, I don't even have a lease with him. Um, it but was you a tenant will. Okay, but you are living in his, you are living in, on his yeah. property. Yes. So you, if there was a fire, mm -hmm. and you lost all your worldly possessions, mm -hmm. you do not have them insured. Right. Okay. Okay, just want, I, need, I needed to ask that question. No. I, I don't own anything of value. I don't own nothing. It's materialistic stuff. I, I am not an attorney, mm -hmm. but if that house is condemned and she is escorted out of that property mm -hmm. and she has to be put somewhere, mm -hmm. be it a motel, yeah. and, and the, two of, the two of you can weigh in on that, Mr. Danforth may be responsible for that. Yes. That's why we're looking, looking to expenses. So we're stores. looking to remedy as much as possible within the next two weeks well, okay. to make I'm, it habitable. But I'm, I understand. Well, I'm, I'm hearing things about finances, and then, then I'm, but I'm also hearing you ask for condemnation immediately. If if that house is condemned mm -hmm. and she's out, He's is Mr. Danforth able to put her up somewhere else and pay for that? And pay for that. That's okay. mm -hmm. that's what so, I. Mm -hmm. But can we have full right to comply, whether it's just to, I mean, her time tomorrow, the time frame, it's pretty limited. And if we go and speak to all the people and find out exactly what we need to do to comply, we would like at least more access so we can make it habitable. Okay. May I say something? He's a known thief in town. I do not okay. trust uh, him being in there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I don't want to hear it. Okay. Please. Oh, sorry. Okay. I, 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 I. Accusations, we do not deal with accusations. Okay. We deal with the state and what the guidelines we have. Uh, can <laughs> point of order? Point of order? If you'd like to speak after, um, 
what I would like to do is currently right now we have extended this until January 22nd. That is your court date. What I would like to do is why don't you touch base with, um, has she been talking to you or to Lisa? Maybe she's been in the car or something. Okay. Um, what I would like to do is, is I would like you to report back on Monday morning. Okay. Then what I want to do is see if we can help walk this thing through okay. for everybody's best interest. Okay. My expectation Monday. Mm -hmm. in making the motion was to give some parties some time. My understanding, Ms. McVicker, mm -hmm. is not that you are given a very short window of this 2.30 to 4 p.m. and that's it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Danforth and his assistants need some time to make some upgrades to where you're living. Okay. And it is my hope that you are not going to be an obstructionist oh, to I that. Have been. Well, well, I've heard some comments that I had some concern. Mm -hmm. You, you, if you have no place to go, which you do not, no. I would bend over backwards to allow Mr. Danforth into the property okay. to do whatever needs to be done. Okay. I don't want to come back. I don't want to see you back here in two weeks okay. and hear that you didn't allow them in the place, okay. in your place. All right. May I request that he give everything to in me in writing and we sign everything, making sure We're that, yes, he was able. Writing. I let him in the apartment. I would like I'll him to have Donna. something written out, stating call that. Me. We're not writing anything. I let him into the apartment each and every time. He'll be mm -hmm. accused of the. No. We're not. That's well, why. Donna, there there comes you. the written signature. Okay. Yes, on such and such a date and such and such a time, I'll Laura allowed me, and I want my signature on that. Mm hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to see where we stand on the 22nd. Okay. Okay. Um, I expect, as the rest of this board, that you will work yes. with me and the health agent? Yes, I will. Okay. Correction, you will work with the board no. and the health agent. Right, but they're going to call me. I understand. And then I'll F fair enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. All of us. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, um, actually, um, I, I because I do that. have the ability, um, just to answer your previous mm -hmm. question, 48 hours, I can call an emergency meeting. Okay. Okay? That's fine. Thank you. Okay? 48 hours. Okay. And if we have to, we will meet for one issue and one issue only. Got so it. let's see if we can do the best that we can. Absolutely. Okay? Thank you. Um, and with that, unless anybody has anything factual that they can back up on paper, um, I'd like to dismiss this case okay. adjourned yeah. for that okay yeah perfect thank you. shane mcglun oh shane go home okay all right mr poirier is on his way in Take off your so you stay with where you are. By the you way, what? thank you so much. Good job. It, it's news to me that I'm a known thief. Oh, uh, don't okay. worry. But we don't listen to that. Well, good luck that's with your not, dialysis. My dad went our, through that for many years. Thank you. Yeah, I was, oh, I was his, um, I was his, his taxi. And, oh, really? The dialysis Monday, oh. Wednesday, and Friday. It's just oh. so draining. Yeah, it is. Hey. Hmm. Yeah, you have no energy. Yeah. This is John Poirier. Thank you very much for your time and consideration. Yeah. You're welcome. Good luck. Yes, thank you very much. John, sorry about that delay. Don't worry about it. Have a nice evening. You Let's too. Help. Come on over. Sheila did not see Shane in there, but I would like to see if we can get through once the variances. through John, if we could get through these variants sure. real quick in a hurry. These were pretty I easy. I know it's late. Yeah, they were pretty Hi. easy. Hey, John. How you doing? We're doing good. Um, once again, we apologize for the yeah, delay. Don't worry about it. Um, the Wolf's Den. Yes. Uh, eight portable uh, trailer came with eight yes. portable toilets. We have five and five inside and then three portables outside. 
for those who want to brave the cold. Yes. Well, just in case there's any issues. Okay. We want so to make five sure. and five and three outside. Yes. Just okay. in case there's any issues. Mm -hmm. So we kept three outside, and then we have the trailer. Okay. The trailer um, is heated. Yes. The three outside are ah, the yeah, porta potties. The porta -potties. Yeah, the porta potties. Yeah. And how is your clientele enjoying those? Not very much at all. So I'm sure you guys are getting calls, and I apologize. Okay. I'm getting the same calls. Mm -hmm. Um, the septic cost was a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did Hanover, which was double the size, and it was 125,000. Mm -hmm. This one came in 350. Mm -hmm. So, if I can get 10 days from you guys. I have two contractors that I'm working with now uh, who can get in the earliest and work with me on the financing. They have to give me their bids by Monday, and then I have a meeting with Mr. Gerber on Tuesday, and then I'll be able to give you guys a signed contract when they're starting, who the contractor is. And go so you the think you'll have pretty much within the next couple of weeks, you'll have all of our answers for us? Uh, with the start date, when their finish date is, and who the contractor is, yes. Okay. Um, and again, I apologize. I talked to Jimmy Roderick today. He's one of the guys, Jimmy Roderick. He had a death in his family, so he was like, can you give me a week? Where's Jimmy Roderick? Where's uh, he out of? He's local. I think he's out of Marshfield. Mm -hmm. um, he actually did, uh, right across the street from the mall, the elderly housing that just went in there. Mm -hmm. He did mm -hmm. the work there. So it's okay. him and another guy, Nick Pastor. Mm -hmm. He's doing another complex. Mm -hmm. So I've been working with them both. Both of them are real close in price, and I'm like, who can get in there the soonest? Because the calls you're getting, I'm getting the same calls, Okay. and you can't win. <laughs> well, you know, I wanted to ask you, and it was something that I, I thought of right before the meeting started. You are not the owner of the actual property. No, Crown Automotive is Mr. Gerber. Okay, Mr. Gerber, Gerber. Yeah, Gerber he owns Family Trust, the yes. property. Yes. And you're leasing the building. Yes, it's so kind of like a land lease. So, uh, I, so it is a land yeah. Yeah, lease. I'm okay. For everything. So it includes. Yeah, okay. Because I was thinking. Like I went into him. He's been great. Mm -hmm. And because it's like a seasonal business, goes up and down. Mm -hmm. So he's been great every time. It's like, oh, I understand it's a slow season. Just catch me with the rent next month when it picks up. So I went in and I talked to him. He goes, I can try to help you out. And he said it helped me out. But we were expecting the, the 125, 150. Mm -hmm. When it came into the 350, it was like, oh my God. So I went out and. Literally got nine different estimates, and every one of them within ten percent. It was amazing. So ten percent of okay. each other. So yeah. why are you thinking that you're going to get anything less than three hundred thousand? Uh, no, I'm not. The both guys. You're not. Yeah, no, I'm not. So what I'm trying to do is working with the guys to see how I can pay them off. I have X dollars. I'm going to give them up front. X dollars upon halfway through. Okay, and that's X dollars of completion, and then I'm going to see who can work with me in the last bit to finance over the summer months because I picked up with the summer months for the tournaments and stuff. Okay, and that's what, that'll be all... Okay. Yeah, that's all what I'm working with the contractors here. Okay. Just, so if this, yeah. yep. if this project comes in, and within a 10% window, if this comes in around 350000 give or take 10%, are you prepared to move forward? Yeah, I've, al I've already got two contracts. I've narrowed it down to two contractors, and both of them are going to give it to me by Monday, their final price on what they can do for the financial side of it. So one of the two is going to do it, and who can get in there the soonest? Because, like, I'm getting calls. Like, today I must have got 15 calls. People saying, oh, you're closed? I go, no, I'm not closed. Oh, we heard you were closed, so we're moving to basketball. I go, no, I'm not closed. Mm -hmm. And, oh, we heard that the Board of Health shut you down. I go, no, we're not closed. We get the porta parties and the trailers. But mm -hmm. I have some competition over in the right. next town yes, that are, like, in the years to all of our players saying, oh, they're going to be closed. They can't afford it. It's just one guy over there and trying to battle that. And I'm like, listen, you can't win the argument because people are complaining, well, if I leave here, i got to pay triple to go play somewhere else. I go, mm -hmm. yeah, but you got to work with me here. I'm charging yeah. less than anybody else. Okay. So kind of work with me a little bit here. Well, good. I'm glad that you realize that because uh, you have been in failure since when? I believe it's since April of 2016. Yeah, what did it is. Um, the first letter that I have references in November. 629 of 2017. Yeah, but it was, you started plumbing. You started pumping. Yeah, yeah, December 5th is when they started pumping, but it went into failure on 629. No, well, they started, I think it was like early May. Because was we it? Pumping, we thought it was a broken pipe. Mm -hmm. And then we're like, oh, if you're going to replace it, don't worry about it, just keep pumping it. 
Yeah. And then yeah, it's mentioned every six. What we're finding what's that, date? that date? That was November twenty first. All the estimates that you've gotten. Yeah. Not only have you gotten estimates, you've gotten a, a rough time frame. I'm says says just looking at a report, Mr. Ford. It says they're talking about six to eight weeks. Does that fall to get this done? Does that fall in line with what you've received from some of your estimates? Yeah. What they told me was is the six to eight weeks is the tanks themselves. The project they don't think will take more than a month. And then this is when we. But the tanks because they're two eleven thousand. Gallon tanks. They have to we make those in five sections to right. do the floor, the sides, and then put the box in place on site. But for them to do the panels, no one has those panels. Yeah. But to get the tanks in, we're, we're talking two months. We're talking. Yeah. So that's why I'm calling guys who can come in the quickest. But it's been on our agenda since before you got here. And you've been here two and a half. You've been here a year and a half. A year and a half. Okay. So we're coming up to the two year mark. For the fact. Of when pumping, of when uh, pumping oh, took just, place. It was just this past spring that we were dealing with the pumping with wastewater to do the pump because we had, when we found out it failed, we got the porta potties and then everybody was complaining. Yeah, but you, there had been a band aid on it. They were allowing you to pump every heritage pumping went in there every yeah, they were two pumping. weeks. In November 21st, 2016 is when you were ordered to do a pump every three weeks and inspection every six. Yeah, that was because they th we just thought that the tank was too small for the usage in the right. tournaments. But then you went so when we were doing the tournaments, that's when we did it. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to argue. Okay, I'm going to for you guys. Uh, well, we as have. Well we, as I, me, yeah. There's a date in our file um, okay. that before you came in, we took a look at and. It, it, we're coming up to the two-year mark, okay? Um, and Massachusetts Title V guidelines say a failed system has to be replaced in two years. Okay. There's no lead way on that. So That's we're getting That's when the there. state comes in. Yeah, well, hopefully okay. we'll get it done okay. quicker than that. So we're, what I think we need to do is make a motion to table this mm -hmm. if John is looking at it with 10 days. So by January 22nd, our next meeting, it's going to be very busy. Um, I would like to table this until January 22nd, until John can come back in I'll front have of a the board contract with and the stock all of that yep. stuff. Wonderful. Yep. And then hopefully we can get it sooner than later. Mr. Fine, what are you actually looking to table? I'm not I'm, clear. Um, I we am taking a vote this evening. We weren't. Well, we weren't taking a vote. Um, you're right. We were here to discuss. You just want to. Put I it on stand the corrected. Anything? I'm going to table this for January 22nd. Okay. And if you would come in and give us a further update, I take back my motion on the table. Thank you. It's been a long night. Yes, it has. Um, good luck. Um, I think due to the. Um, uh, you know, letters from the signed contractor that you choose yeah. that you have worked out payment and start there. I mean, that's the biggest from you thing. in advance. I apologize again. I know you okay. guys are getting a lot of calls. Yep, we are. Let's those. get this yeah, done. Same calls. Yep, let's get this so done. Sorry for any okay. hassles that you guys have got. It's a new year. No we want it done before the deadline. And oh, all right, so mark it on your calendar. So, um, so Mr. Pori is going to come before us on the 22nd, 22nd with, for a with further an, update. With an update. Yes. 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 And if I get it sooner, I will hand deliver it here so that you guys have okay. it beforehand. Just um, get in touch with Sheila, and uh, she'll make sure that we all get the information. Okay. Are you a legs. local guy? Uh, I'm in Duxbury now. Yes, uh, that's I a was local in guy. Noel, yeah. So that's a that's a that's a steep investment you're putting into your Pembroke. Yeah. Yeah, that's everything I guess. Mm. I'm a civil servant. That's my <laughs> that's my business on the side. So that's everything I got in there, and it's just like, oh my God, anything it could go wrong. If I had known this before we did the temporary parking lot, I would have did this right. before we did the temporary parking lot. We just thought that when they did the temporary parking lot, they broke a pipe because it didn't stop backing up until we were doing the tournaments. We were like, oh, i got to get it pumped, pumped, pumped. Mm -hmm. So we just thought no. it was a pipe. Usage. And then yep. Usage. It's not drained at all. I'm, yep. I'm just curious. How, how do you think your communication has gone with the community, and I say the community, I'm talking about the people that are that are coming to your facility and playing there, because you know you you lose your client base and you've just sunk all this cost. Well, that's the thing. I'm trying so, to keep up with it. Like I we're telling trying. people, how do you think you're doing? I think we're doing all right, but like every day is a different rumor mill, and then like the 
other competitor. He's been coming after me on the basketball side. That's our main thing for years, and he's never been able to even come close. But now our numbers are dropping off, and people are calling up saying, oh, you're closed, you're not open. The Board of Health blows you down, you can't even open up. Go, no, we're open. We're open. Come on down. And it's the people that have been consistently there know that we're open. We have a couple schools that we let them in there and use it, so they know. But other than that... I'm just concerned. I mean, I, I want right a enough. vibrant business community, and, and you're in Pembroke, so... Yeah. Yeah, you know, we, we uh, hopefully, you know, knock on wood, get it going, and then I can put out a press release saying, hey, pardon me, parents, you're not going to be able to park on the side because we're going to have to tear everything up on the side there, so I want to get that out as quick well, as possible. Well, once you do, then that's going to relieve a lot of um, that's why your customers' these, tension about that's, what's oh, going on. That's why I'm on these guys, yeah. like, can you please, just when can, as soon yeah. as you can start it, we'll just put a freaking tractor here, so something, so that they know. Here, um, we do have a local upgrade request, but it's also noted that David Primer mm -hmm. added a note to this. Uh, with a note that it needs a two-bedroom deed restriction. The permit application and the design states it's a two-bedroom septic system. Yep. However, the a GPD um, gallon per day is 450, which so is enough for a three-bedroom home. But outside council feels it should be a two-bedroom. I talked outside to Shane I'm sorry, outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And yes. you said that Pembroke's minimum requirement for a septic is, is 450 gallons per day. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's calculated at 450, at, but yeah. the app says two. In the and I would think because of the space. Does she know this? Go ahead, Kim. Um, uh, I mean, we're talking a very small lot. No, it's designed for two, but he wants and a deed restriction, so it could be nothing more. Because all the all the the only oh, the, the only variance on this one, folks, is a reduction in the required setback cellar wall from the um, SAS to the SAS from from twenty to ten. Right. And we've seen this come through the pike several times over the last meetings that we've had that they're coming within ten feet of the mm -hmm. of the cellar wall. In addition to that. It is recommended by outside engineer that represents these systems that we should put a two bedroom deed restriction on the home because this design is for a two bedroom home. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, if there's any further discussion, do I have a motion? I'd like to make a motion, 15.405 um, pounds. Um, a reduction in the set in the required setback cellar wall to SAS from 20 to 10 feet, and for this to be deed restricted to a two-bedroom home. Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next up is 22 Glenwood. Um, okay, here's Glenwood Road. This one is a reduction in the required setback from a public water supply tributary to the SAS. No, wait a minute. Which the reduction have, in you separation the right between the I'm board. sorry. Which we, one is this? This Glenwood. is Glenwood. Oh, you did? Excuse me. Out of order. What are we doing? We're doing it. Glenwood. Okay, I'm on Sorry. Oh. It was the next one in, in the pile. A reduction in the required setback from the public water supply tributary to SAS and septic tank from a hundred feet to 101 and 102 respectfully. From 200 feet? 200 feet to, to 101, 101 to 102 respectfully. Okay. So 101 feet to the, the septic field, 102 to the tank. 
Where's the water supply? Well, it's sandy, right? It's, it's on it's a little sandy. It's a little sandy. Yep. So 200 feet down to 100 and... 100 and 102. Yeah. 100 and 102. Here we are, Donna. Right, that's one, two. One here. One, and two, and there's one. One, one. 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 Sandy. Yeah. Okay. But there's also a note, um, the review by David Primer recommends design D box water for loading. water loading. Well it's H twenty, it's just a it's a beefier D box so that it could be driven on. I don't know where so it's, it's not H two O. It's this not H two O, it's not water. Okay. It's H twenty. Mm hmm Okay. Which is the loading assuming maybe it's in the room, but the maybe the driveway is over this way. Okay. So that they want to make sure that the D box is protected. You should pay your driveway. Yeah, the driveway goes. It's kind of weird. It goes right over the set, right over the Is the variance? This is actual yeah, because the wall's yep. down so here. I mean, they field. literally could drive. Yeah. This is a... This is a gravity pulled system. Hmm. What's going to prevent them from... If this is their driveway, Sorry. what's going to prevent them from driving right, right up to the, the wall? I know. I, I don't know if this is already set to be a load. What was that like? H20 chambers. So this is. Is that why they're they're recommending? He's, yeah. So the, these are the. This is the. Like, field so if they drive over. Mm -hmm. if they H20, drive over. Is, you can drive on it. You can drive on yep. an H20. Okay. And but I don't think he has it for the D box. It doesn't say anything here in the plate. No. Right. It, so they they for design the D box. D box for, for the, the H20 H2, loading. So they so they if they they are going to drive over it. Because the chambers, the chambers are, but I don't think the I don't think mm -hmm. the D box says like here it actually says it. Mm -hmm. When I see it, I just saw it. Yeah, they're not gonna. They won't. Sorry, Section three. They want to add David from the same. David from the same. Yeah, because they're doing they're doing right. it for the chambers. Mm -hmm. This is his review. Mm -hmm. And then he puts down here the footnotes, and one of them is the design D box. Yep. Yeah, because they have to protect the D-Box. So we just, what we want to do when we make a motion is not only um, for what is requested, but Except also adding that the design be redone of the D-Box for an H2. Okay. Zero, lo an H20 loading. Would you like me to make a motion? Go ahead. I'd like to make a motion, a reduction in the required setback from public water supply tributary to SAS in septic tank from 200 to 100 in 102 respectively. Also, uh, a D box, a design D box for the H2 loading to be installed. Do I hear a second? Can you mention H20? H20. 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 Do I hear a second? Second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And last up is Old Pelham Street. Mm hmm. This is an easy one. Open this one for me. Can you open this for me? I can. Thank you. I want to know if you can hold it. Yeah, I won't even address that comment. Okay. So this is 63 Old Pelham. We have one variance on this one. Mm -hmm. A reduction in the separation between the bottom of the SAS and the maximum seasonal high water table from 5 to 4 feet. Um, I'm going to make a motion on 63 Old Pelham Street that we accept the reduction in separation between the bottom of the SAS and the maximum seasonal high water table from five feet to four feet. Do I hear a I'm second? I'm second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Wow. Sheila, you said that.
Yeah, I'm kidding. Remember we had the, I sent out the email about the um, 28th Bird Street asking for an okay to do it. It had a variance. What was the address? Uh, 28 Bird. Yes, we did that. Oh, would you like us to do a... Um, no, no, I just want to tell you what happened. So the idea was that the reduction in, again, the groundwater to, to prevent having to put a pump in. Mm -hmm. Well, when they got there to do the... the um, the job, A.E. Wood discovered there had been an addition to the house and there was another pipe coming from the back of the house and they had to put a pump in anyway. So, it didn't really save anything, but they were able to take showers on Christmas Day, so life is good. Oh, hey. All right, so unless we have anything further to discuss, currently right now it is 8.45. I'd like a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Who made the motion? You, would, you, you said I'd like a motion. I'd like a motion. Gary. Make, I make a motion to adjourn our meeting on the 8th of January at 8.45 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sheila and Donna, any correspondence that you guys have with this little landlord situation, can you please CC us? Yes, so I will. as well, please. Yes. Yeah. Oops, I hit stop. Um, I was I will. not impressed with the tenant. I know, but um, are, um, we, sh are we off? Yeah. With the Just tenant? Be Wait, what, 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 Oh, that we're doing something here. Well, good luck, and we'll Thank see you. you in two weeks. Yes. And apologize okay. again about no the worries. headaches. No worries. Yeah, thank You'll you. You'll get it fixed. <laughs> I hope so. I'll be living there. It'll be brand new, <laughs> spanking new. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. thank you. All right. I just want to try and finish this up. Um, okay. We have a variance um, on a hundred Indian trail. One of the um, there's a couple of things here. Um, we do have a local upgrade request, but it's also noted that David Primer mm -hmm. added a note to this um, with a note that it needs a two-bedroom deed restriction. The permit application and the design states it's a two-bedroom septic system. Yep. However, the a GPD um, gallon per day is 450, which so is enough for a three-bedroom home. But outside council feels it should be a two bedroom. I talked outside to Outside council, you're talking about outside. outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And yes. you said the Pembroke's minimum requirement for a septic is, is four hundred and fifty gallons per day. Mm hmm So that's why it's calculated at four at fifty. But yeah. the app says two and And I would think because of the space Go ahead, Kim. Um, I mean, we're talking a very small lot. No, well, it's designed for it too, but he wants and a deed restriction, so it can be nothing more. Yeah, because all the all the the only oh, the, the only variance on this one, folks, is a reduction in the required setback cellar wall from the um, SAS to the SAS from from twenty to ten. Right. And we've seen this come through the pike several times over the last meetings that we've had that they're coming within 10 feet of the mm -hmm. of the cellar wall in addition to that it is recommended by outside engineer that represents these systems that we should put a two-bedroom deed restriction on the home because this design is for a two-bedroom home mm -hmm. so with that being said, if there's any further discussion, do I have a motion? I'd like to make a motion. Um, 15.405 pound, um, a reduction in the set, in the required setback cellar wall to SAS from 20 to 10 feet. And for this to be deed restricted to a two bedroom home. Do I hear a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next up is 22 Glenwood. Um, okay. Oh. 
Okay, here's Glenwood Road. This one is a reduction in the required setback from a public water supply tributary to the SAS. Now, wait a minute. Which, the reduction I have, and separation the right between the I'm water. sorry. Which we, one is this? This is Glenwood. Oh, you did. Excuse me. Out of water. What are we doing? What are we doing? Glenwood. Okay, I'm on Sorry. Poem. It was the next one in, in the pile. A reduction in the required setback from the public water supply tributary to SAS and septic tank from 100 feet to 101 and 102 respectfully. From 200 feet? 200 feet to, to 101, 101 to 102 respectfully. Okay. So 101 feet to the, the septic field, 102 to the tank. Where's the water supply? Well, it's sandy, right? It's, it's on this little sandy. This little sandy? Yep. So 200 feet down to 100 and... 100 and 102. Yeah. Here we are, Donna. Right, there's one, two. One here. One, two, and there's one. One, one. 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 It's a little sandy. Yeah. Okay. But there's also a note, um, the review by David Primer recommends design deep box water for loading. water loading. Well, it's H20, it's just a, it's a beefier D box so that it could be driven on. I don't know. So it's, it's not H2O. It's this not is H2O, it's H2O. H2O, it's not water. Okay. It's H20. Mm-hmm. Okay. Which is the loading, uh, swimming, maybe a driver is over this way. Okay. So that they want to make sure that the D box is protected. Mm -hmm. You should pay the driveway. Yeah, and the driveway goes. It's kind of weird. It goes right over the set, right over the. Is the variance? This is actual. Yeah, because the wall is yeah, down here. I mean, they literally yeah. could drive. Yeah. This is a. This is a gravity pulled system. Hmm. What's going to prevent them from, if this is their driveway, what's right. going to prevent them from driving right, right up to the, the wall? I know. I, I don't know if this is already set to be a load. Well, is that why? Each 20 chambers. So this is. Is that why they're, they're recommending? These, yeah, so the, these are the, this is the right, so if stuff. they drive over, mm -hmm. if they H20, drive over. Is, you can drive on it. You can drive on yep. an H20. Okay. And, but I don't think he has it for the D-Box. It doesn't say anything here in the plane. No, right. it, so it, they, they, for the design, it's the D-Box. D-Box for the H20 the H2, are loading. So they, so they, if they, they are going to drive over it. Because the chambers. The chambers are, but I don't think the, I don't think mm -hmm. the D-Box says like here it actually says it mm -hmm. when i see it i just saw it yeah they're not gonna they won't Sorry, section they, true they want to so add david from the same david the is, is, is that the, they're doing they're doing right. it for the chambers mm -hmm. this is his review mm -hmm. and then he puts down here the footnotes and one of them is the design d-box yep right. yeah because they have to protect the d-box so we just, what we want to do when we make a motion is not only um, for what is requested, but Except also the adding that the design be redone of the D-Box for an H2. Okay. Zero, lo an H20 loading. Would you like me to make a motion? Go ahead. I'd like to make a motion, a reduction in the required setback from public water supply Tributary to SAS in septic tank from 200 to 100 in 102, respectively. Also, uh, a D box, a design D box for the H2 loading to be installed. Do I hear a second? Can you mention H20? H20. H20. Do I hear a second? Second that motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And last up. Old Pelham Street. Mm -hmm. This is okay. an easy one. Open this one for me. Can you open this for me? I can. 
Thank you. I want to know if you can fold it. I won't even address that comment. Okay. So this is 63 Old Pelham. We have one variant on this one. Mm -hmm. A reduction in the separation between the bottom of the SAS and the maximum seasonal high water table from 5 to 4 feet. Um, I'm going to make a motion on 63 Old Pelham Street that we accept the reduction in separation between the bottom of the SAS and the maximum seasonal high water table from 5 feet to 4 feet. Do I hear a I'm second? I'm the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Wow, Sheila, you said that you were going to go um, remember we had the, I sent out the email about the um, 28th Birch Street asking for an okay to do it. It had a variance. What was the address? Uh, 28th Birch. Birch. Yes, we did that. Oh, would you like us to do a... Um, no, no, I just want to tell you what happened. So the idea was that the reduction in, again, the groundwater to, to prevent having to put a pump in. Mm -hmm. Well, when they got there to do the, the, um, the job, A.E. Wood discovered there had been an addition to the house and there was another pipe coming from the back of the house and they had to put a pump in anyway. So, it didn't really save anything, but they were able to take showers on Christmas Day, so life is good. Oh, hey. All right, so unless we have anything further to discuss, currently right now it is 845. I'd like a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Who made the motion? You, would th you, you said I'd like a motion. I'd like a motion. I make a motion to adjourn our meeting on the 8th of January at 8.45 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.